strict strategy officer untuk uh, Action Galaxy Esports Hub Melaka Saya berasa amat gembira bila nampak ada parents uh, support lah uh, anak-anak mereka uh, untuk menyertai e-sport uh, ini uh, rasa amat uh, memberi supportive lah so saya rasa uh, e-sport ni akan uh, berkembang lagi pesat lah lepas ni Oh, I like it very much. I love the fact that it's a LAN event. Mm-hmm. We, in Malta, I feel we don't have enough LAN events. That's now with a new LAN event and we can hear every time someone clutches up or gets a kill, we can hear them chop. Oh, there's it's a moment, you know, to enjoy as a gamer. You know, you love that moment where everyone, all eyes on you. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Malacca Esports Championship. I'm FaZe and alongside with me is Shin and we're going to be your casters here for today. We've got one of the final best of three series here. We've got the bronze match between uh, RDT, which is Red Dragon Terminator, up against the likes of Nexka, who will be kind of fighting it out to get either 900 ringgit or... 400 so that's a big big difference here for these two teams so just have a quick look at the brackets of how things have turned out here so far and look at this a quick 2020 here for homeboys they're just making it look so easy yeah they're, they're, they're very easy to secure their spot in the grand final but uh, they're going to go up against holden a team that uh, you know we didn't expect to beat Nexca, but they did. So, you know, Nexca is a great team. So I think the finals is going to be a really, really um, tense and exciting match, which I won't be surprised if it goes to three maps. I won't be surprised if it goes to overtime in each and every one of those maps. Mm-hmm. Uh, but definitely a game to watch out for. So for any of you guys who are in Malacca right now, this is a LAN event uh, at the Ancient Galaxy Esports Hub. So if you're free right now on a Saturday, you have nothing much to do do head down to Ancient Galaxy Esports Hub. You can go take a look at how they're playing at the LAN event. Um, <clears throat> definitely will be exciting to see that live. I'm, I'm a bit sad that I don't get to see that live. I'm 
all the way on the other side of the world, but still, I get to enjoy a good amount of iron, so I won't complain too much. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that Grand Finals is going to be insane. Just, uh, you guys were not able to witness the game that they had, but uh, Holden was fighting basically the next guy in all three maps, and in that final map, they went overtime, you know, 14 to, to 12. So, you know, they are a very, very strong team to be able to go all three go all the the the, 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 the distance basically uh, <laughs> against uh, Nexca. so homeboys you know i'm sure they have uh, done a lot of their homeworks you know they probably have been watching the way uh, uh holden plays so there should not be any issues here for them i'm sure they have some strats cooked up here but now we're down to the red dragon terminator versus the likes of Nexca. you know rdt we saw them play last game the last series, you know, they weren't exactly looking on form the best, like, like, like the best, you know, just so, so off. They didn't have that team chemistry. They didn't, they didn't play together very well. And I think Nexca should be able to kind of take advantage of that because Nexca is a team who's been playing together for so long, who has all these crazy protocols and set up strategies to take map control with ease. And I think RDT might just have a hard time here trying to find a solution to that. Uh, aggression. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, <clears throat> next year, obviously, watch uh, the game that RDT just played against Homeboys, and they were definitely studying up on what they were doing. And what I'm surprised of, obviously, this is the best of three. We've got three maps. What I'm surprised is the first map is yet again Bind, and it's yet again uh, RDT speak. Now, obviously, uh, you know, as a team, you're going to have your, you know, your favorite map or the map that you're most confident in, but how can you handle that after you know just getting 13 forward on the map that you were supposed to be i mean quote unquote supposed to be your best map mm -hmm. you get 13 for that and now coming into the next game against the next guy you're gonna go for that bind pick yet again i think it's just really surprising to me here um i mean if it was me i would i would totally be so discouraged to pick bind again but uh you know again i'm not a professional like them so we'll see how they do uh coming to bind but definitely the aggressive nature of next guy is going to be a huge challenge for them and also another thing i would like to mention here phase is that you know we know teams like homeboys we know teams like next guy they've been to countless LAN events in their you know pro life they, they've gone they've played online tournaments they've played LAN tournaments they've been on big stages small stages yeah. any kind of stage you think of they've been on before so they know the experience they know how to handle the pressure the yeah. stress the environment uh but for the side of red dragon i you know they're i, I believe they're a fairly new team they've mm -hmm. never been uh, maybe they have been to land events but certainly not a lot of land events otherwise we would have you know we would know them so i think that could also be a factor in which is causing them a little bit of problems here because again you know you're at a land event you're playing right in front of your opponent every time you make a mistake or your opponent does really well they're going to start shouting and that can really get to you so hopefully they are you know the, the psychological situation is still holding up well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's one thing to 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 hear the screaming in your ear of, of the, the team that just clutched you 1v1, you know. It, it feels terrible, but another thing is you're not at home. You're not at your comfortable spot. You know, you're at a... a, a well, you're at the, uh, the, the the venue and it's just a wholly different PC, a whole different setup. And even though, yeah, you bring your own gear, it's just... It's not the same as you are at home, you know. You're just so absolutely, chill at home. Absolutely, yeah. But that's something that uh, these guys have definitely have to uh, to get used to, to get uncomfortable. Because you know, when I remember joining my first land tournament, I was just not. Uh, I, I was just so surprised because everything felt so different. You know, I know I knew I was good. I knew I could shoot. But when I got onto the PC that they gave to me, you know, on that that venue, it just is a completely different vibe. Especially uh, since you're not at home, so. It's a big, 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 uh, big obstacle in your way, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's everything. It's the gear you're using. You know, it's the temperature. It's the position that you usually play. You you can't have what you usually have that you, you know, that you have you usually use back home. And, and so that starts causing a big problem. And, you know, the, even the, the biggest of pros have this problem. You know that, uh, you know, the guard... You know, we saw them when they first came to their first VCT. Uh, was it Champion of Masters? I can't remember exactly, mm -hmm. but they. Do you remember the shoebox that they had for the mouse? 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was a long time yeah, ago. I, yeah, and it, yeah, it is a long time ago, but it, it goes to show, you know, like, these these teams that don't go to lands very often, uh, you know, they're just not prepared for that kind of environment usually, and they, they don't have a lot of time to adapt to it. So hopefully, uh, Red Dragon, they, you know, they've played on it once now already. Uh, now will be their second time. Hopefully, they have a better grip on that. Hopefully, that doesn't cause any issues because uh, they're definitely going to need their A game uh, going up against Next Guard, team like Next Guard. And again, Next Guard's players, not only are they aggressive, they are vocal about their aggression. So, you know, if they're going to clutch up against you, you're not going to hear the end of it. You're going to be screaming and shouting at you. And that's definitely going to hurt you a lot. I believe yeah. me, I've been on the opposite end of it before and it does not feel good. The receiving end of all the shouting. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Oh man, yeah. It's, it's terrible, you know, especially since you are, you know, the underdogs. You kind of want to prove yourselves. But yeah, it's tough. It's something that it's, they definitely have to go get through. But, you know, Bind being their first map, as you said, it's a surprising pick. Uh, why would you choose Bind again, especially since you just got trashed on by the homeboys, 13-4? But, you know, I think it's just their comfort pick. You know, they, yeah. Nexca is a completely different team, so maybe they could kind of pull pull a, uh, a bunny out of a hat, you know, a, a magic trick against these guys on their map pick. You never know, maybe Nexca is feeling tired. You know, there's a lot of different possibilities and especially in the land tournament in the tournament itself you're not at home you don't have that that possibility of going to the toilet where where you want to or you know to lie down and rest you don't have that that place to chill out so i'm sure these guys are all tired of being there the whole day and maybe it's something that rdt can take advantage of. i don't know of. yeah potentially yeah i mean um again <clears throat> I think uh, their lineup is also going to be very uh, important here. It seems like... Um, I, I don't like saying this too often, but it seems like the lineup they pick doesn't really um, suit their, their play style, play style when yeah. it gets to in-game, you know? They go for like a lineup that's aggressive based but they're not aggressive they go for a lineup that is strategically based but they're not very st strategic like in the last time they played bind they had the the breach and the gecko and we thought they were going to use a bunch of team plays and yeah. they completely didn't at yeah. all so you know i think if there was anything they could take away from map one was to if you're not going to go for the team play that's fine then go for in agents that are very heavily based on individual talents you know, like um, agents that can play for themselves. They have the utility to play for themselves. Uh, Mobile Legends as well. Tomorrow is also a second day of the event. Um, and of course, it's not just to go and see the players. Because it's an esports hub, you do have uh, the option to go there and play some of the games as well. There's PCs available. There's uh, PlayStation's available to play FIFA as well. So definitely, definitely a good idea to head down. Uh, you know, have some fun. Everything is free over there. So, well, not everything. Some of the stuff is free over there, so definitely go, do go check it out. And uh, yeah, maybe it'll be in the promotion video for the next uh, next event. Yeah. yeah, definitely. They have the Bukopasa event there as well. So anything, just make sure you drop by early in the morning, you register, and you should be good to go. Just hang out there. If you got nothing else to do on a Sunday, you know. Yeah, I mean, why not watch by. some games, play some games, and then eat some food with some friends later on in the day? I mean, that sounds like a pretty good day to me. That's a pretty damn good Sunday to me. Yeah. yeah, good stuff, good stuff. But yeah, sorry, ladies and gents, for the delay. Just waiting for the last few players. You know, since it's a LAN tournament, you know, the one team has to remove all their gear and the other team has to come in and put their gear in, get into the lobby and all that. So it takes some time. RDT is chilling, thankfully. And I think one thing that's good for RDT is they actually are warmed up. You know, maybe they, they're used to their setup now after going through that two games. They don't have to take out their 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 uh, peripherals or anything. They're just there, ready, warmed up uh, to go against the likes of Mexico, who has been resting for the past two hours. You know, so that's yeah, that, definitely that's something. true. I guess you could look at it from that point of view, where you know they don't have to move. They can sit there. They can talk about their game plan. You know, just get ready in the right headspace. They don't have to, you know, get uncomfortable again. You just stay in that spot. So they do have that going on for them. And uh, yeah, coming back to the delay, you know, there's also occasionally the one player going missing uh, yeah. <laughs> for, for some time. Uh, but don't worry, I'm sure it'll get sorted out soon enough. But uh, why don't we take this time to talk about the finals that we have here? Because we finally have the um, 
official lineup of who's going to be playing here. We're going to have Holden going up against Homeboys. Um, I think it's going to be a great final game. You know, um, I think we'll see. Obviously, we're going to see Lotus again, right? Uh, we're going to see Icebox potentially, uh, maybe Sunset even. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I think um, Holden going up against Homeboys is going to be a very, very, um, well, a fun one. You know, Fishball going up against Toggle and Ren. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't think I've seen it. Maybe I have actually, but I'm not sure. But I think it'll be a good one. Sorry, what was the last thing you just said? I was having some. Yeah, I, I think it'll be a good one. Homeboys going up against Holden. Uh, these two teams, I think they have very different play styles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fishball going up against uh, Toggle. I think mm -hmm. it'll be a fun one. Yeah, definitely. I agree. I mean, these guys, they all have the experience. But before we can view that experience, ladies and gents, we're actually going to have to go for a quick break to sort out the technical difficulties that we are having uh, here behind the scenes. So we're going to go for a quick one. We'll see you guys after this. stay is because I believe soon there will be a changes but knowing ESI you know they plan their uh, NASDAQ is it NASDAQ? yeah NASDAQ you know they give us a blueprint because me as a Pesatuan I can't just plan out my own stuff always up a check i might do it again enemies close have me thinking they're friends ten toes down i'll be free until the end crib outside the city i don't feel safe in my ass took so many years i'm just waiting for the wins i'm in debt to no one but the one into my sins i do it for real there's no reason to pretend if i do it once i do it again Welcome back, everyone. We thankfully uh, have swiftly resolved the technical issues, and now we can finally get into the third place matchup. Max guy going up against Red Dragon on bind map number one here. A very aggressive team going up a team who has nothing to lose right now. Uh, 
plus David versus Goliath situation in this matchup. I'm, I'm just excited to get right into it, to be fair. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they've already secured themselves 500 ringgit, you know, as a team. So, you know, it's at least something. They've gotten to a point where not a lot of players have, have joined. You go, there was, what, 64 teams or 32 teams? Yeah, there was 32 teams yep. in total. And now we're down to the last four. So whatever happens, you know, you've got to be proud that you were able to kind of get all the way through here to the LAN event. So just amazing stuff here. Great effort from everybody. RDT, they're a fairly new team, but, you know, it's it's a it's a big uh, achievement to get here, and I think if they keep it keep it up, you know they're fighting up against teams like Homeboys, uh, Nexca. You know it's not easy, and it's definitely something that they can learn from here for the future. So hopefully RDT can do their best, but right now they are definitely looking like the uh, not not the better team for sure. The the underdog, the underdog, the underdogs. There we go. <laughs> Yeah. Way to put no, it. but uh, I hundred percent agree. I mean, they made it. <laughs> they've made it so far into this tournament. <coughs> Excuse me. There have been thirty-two teams that just being in the top four itself secures them five hundred ringgit and also secures them our respect uh, to get that far into the tournament. So they they have nothing to be ashamed about or disappointed about. Uh, but. I, I don't like the way that we're talking about them. It sounds like we're already we saying did, we already lost, lost the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. But my bad, my yeah, bad. So, so we'll, we'll, we'll change it up. We'll change it up, um, and go into, you know, looking. You know, I'll, I'll go from my point of view, and then I'll let you say yours. But looking from my point of view, taking a look on bind in the first map, what they could have done better, what they should do better. From you know what I saw at least was to you know go for team fights. We saw them on Lotus when they you know did team fights. They performed really well. They got rounds because of it when they went for, you know, 2v1s or 3v2s or 3v1s instead of just going for the regular 1v1, which they were doing on Bind. I think if they can correct that, that's easily, uh, you know, a few more rounds in in, in their bag. Um, on your side's face, what, what do you think uh, they can improve on on the side of Bind uh, yeah. to help them get a better chance at winning this against Next Girl? I mean, they had the right ideas, but I think... Unfortunately, for that first map, I think they kind of lost their marbles. Not lost their marbles. They, they kind of, they were playing it the right way. They were playing default when they were attacking, but they just had the wrong timings. You know, they had the wrong timings. They had the wrong reads, but they had the right idea uh, as how to set their team up uh, for success. But it's just that that confidence from homeboys was just a little bit too strong. You know, we always see Petchal and Toggle who's pushing up along with Kai pushing up that B site, fully taking control of market even, you know? So they just have the wrong timing and it's just confidence. It's just something you don't really see coming from the homeboys. So they have to be a bit more diligent. They got to clear out these corners, try to sell the, the, uh, the fakes a little bit more. And they're looking like they're going for a similar setup here as to what they did on the first map. Yeah, without the breach though this time around. Ah, oh, yes, they have that, the information here for that sky. So okay, that's that's great, not too bad. Double initiator yeah, being used I, I, again. I, <clears throat> breach would have been nice. I, I really do like, like the, the breach up. setup, but yeah, I think they yeah, definitely I, I, needed I a change. Yeah, I do like the breach setup. Like we, we we both liked it, but at the same time, if it doesn't work, you know, you you can't just do something that you know sounds good on paper, but you can't really apply it. So. I, I think uh, switching it up, maybe this is something they need more, would be a good idea too. So, looks like Tokji is going to go back on that Gecko. Sadio Mane is going to go on the Sky. Leo back on the Rays. We got Shaz this time going for the Brimstone here. And Kamavinga going on the Cypher. For the side of Nexka, we got Splash on that Reina. We got Ryan on the Sky. We got Mojo on the <coughs> Brimstone. Aplix on the Rays. And finally, we got Kale on the Cypher. Uh, now, I, I think uh, for the side of Next Gas Splash, definitely one of the players to look out for. Um, you guys obviously didn't get to watch that first that first semifinals game, but we, myself and FaZe, we did manage to get uh, you know a, a quick peek at it. And uh, Splash was just yeah, he, he was just making a big splash in that game. You know, although they ended up uh, losing that game, he was just uh, especially when he got that op. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. I think FaZe was the one who put it best. He became you know just absolutely like a demon uh, on that op. Yeah, this, he's definitely one of the players who has been uh, helping Next Guy just cross the finish line, you know, putting them in his bag and just carrying them all the way up. Not to say that he's doing all the heavy lifting, but, you know, everyone else is there. But when they need him the most, when they need Splash, 
he is there to show up and he can definitely help all the way so that's definitely one of the players to watch out for he is incredible and it's probably one of our first times watching that uh, play on bind here so excited to see what kind of showing they can bring oh, this is a nice one. So we'll see if rdt red dragon terminator can hold this aggression coming in from Nexca. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if I'm RDT right now, I'm looking at the Reyna pick from Splash, and I'm a bit like, uh, okay, so this guy is either really confident or, you know, just to show off here, because the Reyna pick, obviously, you're going to be going into the site, just going for the kills. You're not playing for the team, you're playing for yourself. I mean, the Leer, I guess you could say, is playing a little bit for the team, but there's just a lot of better duelists that you can go for, but going for that Reyna means, like, you're going for that, you know, that snowball effect. You're going to go get a kill, get another one, get another one, dismiss, yeah. you know, devour and such like that. So I I'm paying attention towards, uh, you know, the Reyna and what's going to happen. How are they going to, you know, use that Reyna in that team comp? Exactly. I mean, Reyna, you just can do basically anything with her. She can either execute with you or she can lurk uh, on the other, on, on the opposite side of the map, flash for herself and get some picks for herself. A lot of the players nowadays, we see them kind of using it as a lurking Reyna, but to have that leer help you enter and execute on towards the site is very, very annoying, especially coming out of Hookah, you know. Up high in the sky, it's definitely going to cover a lot of ground. Most people are, most of the defenders will most likely be blind honestly and i'm interested to see what he can do because like you said you know one kill after another that's exactly what splash is all about you know he likes to overheat and reyna will definitely help him uh with that play style yeah reyna seriously is like uh, probably the ultimate agent for for people who like to you know get hot and stay hot you know get on that aim grind and just non-stop just go for it i mean I remember when I was like climbing ranks back uh, when I when I was playing to to get to Immortal, I was just you know that my teammates were of no help to me, so I was just locking yeah. in the arena every time, doing my own thing. You know, it didn't matter if we lose, as long as I got as many kills as I could. Yeah, that that, that was enough for me. Yeah, definitely, just to feel like you you, it's just satisfying. You know, playing Reyna. Uh, I yeah. play a fair share of Reyna myself. You don't really have to worry about your team's utilities. You know, even if your team your initiator <laughs> dies, you. You have that leer for yourself and you can definitely win out those clutches especially since you have that overheal and you have the uh the dismiss as well so super super strong agent not a lot of not a lot of teams have been picking it up for vct except for paper rex you know with something using him but i think it's pretty he's she's pretty slept on yeah i mean definitely the thing is with reyna it either goes really well or really really badly so uh, you, you really have to be feeling yourself, you know, it's a kind of agent where you're like, you know what? I, I think today's the day I can feel my hand twitching yeah. Today's the day I go for Reyna and uh, yeah, I, I think uh, for splash today is the day for him He's gonna go for that Reyna, but uh, looking at the other agents, you know, it's essentially just a mirror of uh, each other We've got the sky on both sides. We've got the brim on both sides Rays on both sides and the cypher on both sides. Uh, I think, you know, especially for the cypher and the sky, I think they're gonna be one of the value agents in this uh, in this game that you don't want to lose early. Sky for you know the early info and Cypher for the late info essentially. I think it's just going to be really good, especially and Sky for entry as well. We saw you know in in the last time we watched Bind homeboys going up against Red Dragon. How many times uh, homeboys utilize that early flash to just let a toggle just run into sight without having any form of defense set up against him at all. So. How they use their utility is going to be very important here for both sides. Uh, but now on the attacking side, so next guy is going to be the ones uh, setting the pace, I believe. Yeah, definitely for sure. Yeah, and next guy is definitely one of those teams where they have that synergy uh, similar to homeboys. You know, they always trusted each other's utilities. They've been practicing every single day. You know, trying just rinse and repeat the same, probably the same play. Uh, to perfection and that's definitely the kind of team Nexca is so that's what Red Dragon has to watch out for the trap plays the protocol the the aggression you have to try to avoid um, avoid Nexca on where the they plan to get aggressive at something you can do I guess is also just play retake you know allow allow Nexca to use all their utilities to get on towards the site and you as a five-man team go for that 5v5 retake yourselves yeah, I mean that, that certainly is an option for them, but we did we did see them try to do that 
uh, against um, the side of homeboys. And, you know, it really did not work out for their favor when they tried to go for, like, a full-on retake, mm -hmm. especially when they have, you know, essentially no advantage at all. A team like Homeboy, Homeboys and Nexca have really good post-plant setups, and uh, they can wait you out. They have no problem waiting you out. So, uh, you know, I, for me, I would suggest trying to get an early kill. Or even not an early kill, if they try to push in the side, try to get a trade-off. Try to get the man advantage because yeah. that's going to be the biggest difference in the world uh, in the long run. Yeah, so you want you want them to go for the fights and try uh, win it out in terms of numbers. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Because like here's the thing: no matter what, next guy is going to bring the fight to you. So uh, you might as well, you know, meet them with the fight. Don't just let them run all over you because that's their game plan right now, right here. They're just gonna go for it. Definitely, that is. The professional analysis there coming in from Shin. So good with his coaching <laughs> as well. His motivational speeches too. I'm out what of stuff. the heck is going on in this game? We can see one player who's just not moving at all. I think it is Kale. That's the one thing I don't like about uh, land events is this, oh, there's always got to be an issue somewhere, you know? So I hope the team on the ground is able to settle that as soon as possible. Because I'm sure the, the, these yeah, players are I, I do believe uh, it is going to get settled soon. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, no. Um, yeah, coming back to the game, um, for the for the controllers, Mojo. Oh, yeah, I, I, I want to mention this. In terms of uh, individually talented players, the, the side of Nexca has an abundance of them. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was, I was just thinking about Mojo here, and I felt he was left out. He's one of the OGs of Nexca. He's been playing for Nexca since... You know, probably since Valorant began, you know, um, I've seen him there in that team for so, so long. He's always on that Omen or that Brimstone, and he's just a very, very solid default controller player, <clears throat> a very reliable player. And uh, <clears throat> when you play on a team that long, you realize how much you value reliance over, you know, someone who is very aggressive, because someone who's aggressive you know, when they go to do their thing, you, you have a 50-50% chance of winning. You know, they might get, you know, if they're they're on the right track, they get it. If they're not, they lose out and now you're down a man. But a player like Mojo, he always, you know, tries his best to make the right decision every time. Always, almost always, puts you in the best situation you can be in. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's the thing with, with having the controller role is it's super difficult. To, to be a controller because you kind of have that you kind of have the ability to smoke cut off angles and make those mid round calls yeah uh, and it's just very very important for you to just stay alive throughout the throughout the round and obviously he, it's it's a brimstone you've got the lineups you've got the orbital strikes we saw those lineups and orbital strikes being used uh, between homeboys and RDT on Vine so it's just super, super important for, for Mojo to stay alive here. But he has definitely been, you know, at, on par with the rest of his team. Because everybody on Nexca has really been putting in the work and putting in the numbers here. Finally, ladies and gents, we are here. Third place, third, fourth place bronze match. Aggression towards Hookah. Beautiful day here to force out Tokshi out of the corner. They will be able to take down Kamavinga as well. And look at this, uh, just a full-on B hit. No alerts coming at all from the side of Nexca. They just leave Aduka, which is Ryan, uh, chilling towards this market position, trying to find any any potential lurks, any potential flanks. But the rest of the three members here, Red Dragon just in towards spawn. Not much she can do. So the flash will be pushed up to delay. They will find us another flash, but they... As soon as Sadio Mane, you know, he tries to go for the swing. The rest of the team of Nexca is able to help Mojo out. Everyone just swings after that flash. They know for a fact that the flash is available. There's going to be a couple of players playing anti-flash. So as soon as that flash comes up, they so swing and Mojo picks up that 3k. What, <clears throat> what a round there from the side of uh, Nexca. I mean, a flawless pistol round. They, you know, as I said, Vince, they, they, they don't stop. They just go. You know, um, a... <clears throat> Splash and Aplix both getting the opening kills there, the duelists doing their jobs, and then Aplix just, you know, going for it, just not stopping at all, just pushing into site, clearing out uh, B-Long, clearing out Elbow, and then Mojo coming in from the back gets three kills to close out the round, and <clears throat> right from the get-go, a very strong start from the side of next up. Yeah, man, again, a W, all 
all the way. Come on, Vega is able to find one. This judge up on the hands of a plate trying to find another, but look at this. Two HP. He will get healed up by his teammate, by Ryan, but gotta be very, very careful. That judge definitely gonna be super strong in this one. The spike has not even been planted just yet. Trying to wait things out. They're trying to pull the rotations, and they have three players instantly already just rotating through the TP towards this B site. They leave one player by himself on towards that B, on towards that A site. See if he can find any uh, any lurks. And there we go. Uplix finding not one but two players on towards that A site. Oh man, that's a tough one here. You can tell that you can tell next guy is really kind of just. Chiming in on all cylinders. Everyone's working together like a well-oiled machine. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you, you again, you see like how good they are in that, you know, the early rounds, I mean, the early parts of that round, they made a mistake. They didn't check the corner. They tried to go in a bit too fast. And, you know, they got a little bit punished for it and they had to stop. But they didn't, you know, start to, to question, their, question themselves or, you know, have no idea what to do. They thought of a game plan. Waited for some rotates and I went through the TP and then got the plant and got the kills. So they just adapt so well. That's why they're such a great team. Now look at this. What the heck is going oh, on there with Shaz? Just target. fully blind. He, he had no idea where the heck he was going. Lear comes out. Leo's good for one. Let's get the trade here from Splash. And oh, look at Splash go. One by one they fall down and that's what we're talking about. That's the kind of ability that Splash can bring in towards the game. He takes one down. On that Reyna, he goes for the, for the heal and goes for the second, but Tok will be able to shut him down here. So the, some breathing room has been bought for Red standing. Dragon. Oh, there it is. Tok goes down. Now all left onto Kama Vin... Sorry, Kama Minda here. He gets one, but instantly traded out by Mojo. And that's the bonus round going to the side of Nexga as well. Um, Faiz, is, is, is history repeating itself here because I'm getting a sense of deja vu. Oh man, I mean... It might just be, you know, but we can't count them out just yet. You know, RDT, it's their map pick. I think they need to go do something uh, something aggressive like we saw on that second round. You know, it, it definitely caught out one of the players off guard trying to get aggressive. If they can get themselves into that cubby position or in towards a cheeky position, they can definitely catch next off guard. Here we go. Aggression once again. And come up, Vega is good for one. A good start here so far, you know. Build up the, the, the confidence. In, but oh my god, Splash does not give a single single damn about that. Dizzy. Fully blinded, just sprays towards the corner. World good money to stop you all players here. Planted. Hold on a second, Leo. Leo gets one with the shotgun. But they know the judge is there, so instantly they're just gonna have to kind of play time, fall back. They don't want to play these close corners. We've got Ryan Gasoline on towards the site, but he's gonna be the only one playing one at that close angle. Remaining. They play that close one, two, dot towards that site. They play so well. Mojo and Ryan just taking those last two remaining players towards your hall. Kale getting that last I mean, frag. I just beautiful stuff. I mean, they're I think the, so the, well. the, um, the effort was there. You know, using the tripwire to get a free and easy kill. Using the judge to play in U-Haul, play it smart. That's what they need to do. Go for these kills where they clearly have the advantage. Where your enemy player... Where it's not a, you know, a fair fight. If you're going for a fair fight against a player like a Plix and Splash... Uh, nine times out of ten, you're going to lose. So, you got to think of ways to get those kills without risking of yourself. Difficult man because you see the next guy, the, the way they push, the way they play they're together. Right now, you know, there's, there's always at least one more player behind him, and just look how aggressive these guys are. Oh, gee, just no chance to escape. He has to commit himself to that peak, and just a matter of seconds, it's already a 4v3. The spike is already down, they're literally running down Red Dragon right now, and it's, it's just hard for Red Dragon to figure out an answer for. Two players in towards you hall one towards the back of sight and the aim deal from Ryan Gasoline, aka Aduka, just shooting through that smoke, taking down Kamaviga on that last kill. 
They are confident and they are hot. And they are rolling like a SWAT team. Literally just sticking together as a squad. Dangerous yeah, I mean, the side, of, uh, the side of Red Dragon, they're gonna have, you know, a force buy. I mean, I guess, yeah, it is a force buy here into round number six. But at this point, you know, it's just so difficult for them to win around. They're, they're definitely, you know, I'm not trying to say that they're not doing anything. They're trying to adapt to the situation, but these rounds are going by so fast. They don't have time to change up anything with, uh, you know, a Splash and a Plix just running in constantly. Here we see them again. They're exactly heading towards that B long fast. Kale already getting that first opening kill. Now a 5v4. As well as the information with the neural theft. They know where players are now. And look at this. They're just running in so quickly. A Plix. He's going to curl elbow while Splash takes out the backside player. A Plix. He's going to get that kill easily. Oh. Actually, we're going to be a bit disciplined and back off, but point made here. They've got the spike down, they've got the sight, and, you know, essentially they've got the round here. There's not much Red Dragon can do. When when things are moving this fast, it's so difficult to expect the team to adapt. Oh, there is a spray out. Beautiful. Now that was a work of art. The momentum is just on their favor, you know. Like, what the only thing Red Dragon can do right now is call a timeout. You know... Just yeah, no, uh, that's uh, it's so actually nice. a very good point. We didn't see them call a timeout at all so far, right? Yeah, exactly. So something you can do to stop this kind of crazy play from next guy. Just call a timeout, slow things down, because every single round, next guy's kind of running it down and just not giving you any breathing room at all. So calling a timeout would not only allow, make next guy overthink, you know, maybe they're going to do something. It's definitely also going to slow them down and let them kind of just think things through. And they might just overthink and you might be able to like, find like an like opening. Stop momentum. Once again. Hit on towards this A side. The dog will come out first. No trips being given. Kamavinga in a very tough position, but that Phantom will get the beautiful headshot there on towards Flash. So that's one way to shut things down. But just like that, the trade comes in. And look, the showstopper does damage, but it's not going to be enough to actually take down any of these players. Kale already made his way in towards elbow, so Tokchi definitely has to be careful, but he is aware. He's aware Kale is here, but Kale is just too quick with the trigger. Oh man, Leo. Oh Leo, he had the right idea. He had the showstopper popped off, but just did not expect the Cypress trip to be there. Did not expect Aduka to be lurking just outside of that port as well. And it's just two players. Red Dragon in towards his farm, just thinking, what can we do, man? And they're just hunting next guy just wants to keep this ball rolling yeah i don't think they're gonna allow them to save in this situation here i mean if they can try to take their weapons out they're going to but that round just fell apart so quickly right after that tp and that's all because of you know no player knew exactly what they were supposed to do they had a player waiting outside of the tp waiting one for that potential ready. you know defensive rotation and there it is they're just taking them out one by one and uh, you know we had the player going to side Bearing elbow, yeah, no saves here, no saves here, yeah, we're yeah. taking all the guns, we're taking everything from you. Um, yeah, they, they just play really well, the communication is on point here, and uh, you know, even down to that tripwire, they don't really need a tripwire since someone's watching the flank, but that tripwire still helps them so much because of like, uh, stopping the showstopper there, so yeah, next guy is just on a whole different level right now. Yeah, they're just either hitting A or B and kind of using their, their the, the teleports when they need to. Aggression now towards B long. They did spot talk G trying to go for this jump peak. He'll instantly fall back. You know, he just does not want anything to do with the likes of Nexka. They do have two defenders here. K will be able to find Kamavinga. A flip's getting aggressive on top of this tall stack right now. And they find no, no not at all. They do not want to provide any sort of openings. They've got Gecko. Talk G in towards spawn. He has Thrash to make things work. He has a bit of an opening here with that ultimate. He could definitely create space. But he's got to wait for the rest of his team coming in here from... Oh, never mind. From Huka. Ryan, oh, yeah. aka Aduka, just doing so good. The shots are just hitting. Whips up the sheriff. Shaz will be able to get the kill. Okay, the quick instant trade. Let me just back and forth. 
I thought I thought we were gonna see some uh, magic there with the Empress from uh, from Splash, but no, we saw the magic from Ryan that just going just so crisp with that game, one on CT, one on Hookah, just you know he sees just a pixel and instantly gets the head. So it's just amazing to watch now as the score is eight to zero here. This could uh, another force buy here from the side of uh, Red Dragon. This is starting to look like a potential 13-0 here, face. No, no, he said it. He jinxed it. Uh, <laughs> jinxed it. Maybe I'm trying to give them a chance, you know? I'm trying to give Red Dragon a chance. That's true, that's true. They're going to need all the help they can get right now because Nexta is just putting up a storm. They are literally just one whole stack. Basically, a rhino running at you in real life. You know, it's so hard to stop. It's so hard to deal with. That timeout, man. Something they could, I think that they really should consider. But I think everything is happening so fast that they don't even consider timeout. You know, they just consider trying to fight, trying to find a solution. But look at this outside of the map, outside of this B site. They even have to find two of these players. Finding another. Leo is able to get the trade on towards a Plix from the elbow position, but it's a 1v3, 1v2 now if he gets a beautiful hit shot there, but Kale, instant trade, jumping out of hookah. 9-0. My goodness. Yeah, this is, uh, this is looking very, very grim here. Again, the money situation is horrendous for the side of Red Dragon. They won't be able to get anything in this round because they force bought in the last round here. And, uh, you know, at this point, They've got the same chances of winning a round with, you know, pistols as they do with rifles, uh, you know, because of how next guy is playing. So, you know, they, I mean, it's not like they haven't tried things here, Phase. They've tried to be aggressive, they yeah. get shut down. They play passive, they get shut down. So, like, what is the answer right now? Oh, man. I think... I've got your trail. They, they, they keep giving this B site away for free. I'm, I don't understand. You've got Cypher playing towards A. And... You stack most of your trades on towards the A side. You know, he's supposed to be the one that's able to hold things down. And if you've got PUBG by himself here, you know, they're definitely going to run things down towards elbow. It's definitely going to be a bit easier. You're definitely going to need people to, to help PUBG on this B side. Well, listen, look at this. They're running them down in their bloody spawns inside the Brimstone Molly. A flawless round, double digits secured by Nexta. Uh, it, it, really feel, it really feels like they're just playing a deathmatch. It doesn't even feel like... Uh, I don't even know if they're planting the spike at all right now. They just seem to be running around, popping heads. You know, look at the look at the, look at at the the scoreboard here, Face 12, 10, 10, 10, 8. Everyone, essentially, on next guy is on double digits, whereas on the side of uh, Red Dragon, they're struggling. They don't even have half the kills uh, that next guy have right now. Yeah, it's tough. I mean... If everyone is doing well, everyone is hitting their shots. Red Dragon, you know, it's going to be super difficult. Okay, there we go. They leave. They finally stack four players towards B. Leave the one-man cypher to himself. But look at the way they cleared it out. The dog comes in. Instantly, they break the trip and swing out of that trap. So just... They've done this many, many times. They trust each other to break the trip. These guys down. Oh my Beautiful goodness. double spray down from a Plix. And it is just a full on one sided show. There's it's a it's a next guy highlight reel we're watching right now. Yeah no they can definitely use so many of these clips for edits right now. I mean <laughs> the the sign of uh, Red Dragon weren't even prepared for that heaven push there and they're just so unaware of how fast the side of Nexca move and they move as a unit they don't go alone wow a plix runs in so does splash so does kale everyone goes in at the same time so like even if a certain player goes down the trade is definitely there and they have nothing to fear and that's the one thing the red dragon is missing out on all their fights they take is individual fights they don't play as a team right now you know and, and to be fair even if they did i'm not sure if they can really do something against a machine like Nexca, who's just you know the, the the only command they have right now is to go forward there is no uh, stopping there is no go going back it's w gaming all the way it's like basically the coach just told them okay go hunt happy hunting go have fun and that's exactly what they're doing aggression once again satchel towards you all come up Inga. no answer leo gets a beautiful one that so far leo has been has been playing so well Flash! Oh my goodness, playing with fire right now. Coming out from the business with that shorty. Does lots of damage here to Sadio Hane, but not 
gonna be enough and look at this they are able to find a little bit of something something but not able to capitalize over that that shot oh, oh no insult to injury salt on the wounds Oops. Oh, gee, taking down 12 0 goodness gracious could this Switching be sides. Match a flawless figure i mean that's that's the first half done phase what was that like 10 minutes 12 minutes Damn, I ridiculous yeah. ridiculous and now we're at essentially match point here for sorry map Damn. point and match point uh for map number one of the third place match here next uh you know although they're on the defending side here i don't think they're going to be waiting for the sign of a red uh red dragon to attack i think i'm pretty sure they're just going to go full on uh you know boss to the wall blazing fire and push uh, to get those kills and to just end it, in, you know, with 13-0. With, with Definitely. I mean, you can already see through the positioning. Three players in hookah. So three players towards the go. short, two in towards hookah. Just full-on aggression. Kill already finding one. Sending out another flash here. Spike is down. They're just looking for more already. Shutting things down. A one versus three. The last player was actually towards that A side of the map. All by himself, Kamavinga. Oh no, buddy. You have to save your team from a 13 and 0. Can he do it? Spots out Mojo. And of course, what happens? The rest of Next Guy's gonna come in, go for that triple swing. And Kamavinga kinda has this idea. You know, it, 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 it's yep, difficult. Yep, he knows. Oh man. 55 heroics. Can we can we see some heroics here? A little something something, a little action, a little plays. They're just giving him nothing. They're giving him no room to maneuver. Again, yep. another triple swing coming out. That just shows how how much they think next guy's moving like one brain, you know? It's just crazy. There it is. Defenders zero. Beautiful stuff here coming in from the side of next guy. Just well-rounded plays. Everybody really just chiming in and hitting their shots. And honestly, just running down RDT, man. That is not an easy thing to go through on your first map. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, even the map that they played against homeboys weren't this bad. Um, you know, not just in terms of scoreline, but just how the game was played in general. I mean, Next Guy was just destroying them. And, you know, we get to see the highlights in a moment here. And it's going to be everything Next Guy, just them running over everything uh, in, in this map. And, you know, also, I, I want to talk about that last round there, Faze. You saw that they're in a 3v1. It's clear they're going to win that. But again, they go for the triple swing, the triple peak. They play together as a team. You know, even if it's a 1v3, they don't take chances. They, uh, if you have an advantage, their mindset is, if we have an advantage, we're going to utilize that advantage. There's no reason to fight at a disadvantage. You know, no one there is playing for ego or pride. Yeah or, you know, personal stats, they're all trying to get the win. And that's why they play so well as a team. But, you know, that was one thing we were lacking from Red Dragon. They, you know, we look at these highlights, one thing we can see is like, it's constantly a 1v1 fight. They isolate themselves into these positions where the their teammates can't trade them or they can't trade with their teammates. And I think that overall caused, you know, the biggest problem in their gameplay here. If they can fix that, I'm, I'm certain they can do much, much better. Because uh, just watching how Next Guard played, it was just... It, just phenomenal Valorant. It, it's the kind of Valorant I love to watch. It's aggressive, but at the same time disciplined and, uh, you know, with the right mindset going in. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I just love what you pointed out because, you know, if you're winning 12-0 or 11-0, you know, you've always got that one player trying to have fun, trying to throw, but you don't see that at all by next guy. You know, like you said, they are just so disciplined. Everybody's playing for the win and you don't really see someone just going all out so everyone is just doing equally well here you can see kl 17 kills 14 on a, a plix 12 on splash and ryan aka aduka and mojo with a 10 just just fair just very very good you know you always see them play together they have set plays and honestly congrats to them for winning their third place <clears throat> uh it's a best of three. Oh, so I've, bro, the way they played. We're on map one. I, f I forgot. Count your horses. Don't I've, don't count my, Red, Red Dragon out so fast. My, uh, I mean, did you see yeah. the way? Okay, my bad. My, my bad. <laughs> uh, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, 
Uh, don't don't get mistaken here. This is map number one of a best of three map. We still have map number two to go, and potentially, who knows? Although you know, very unlikely, a uh, map number three at the end of it. But map number two is you're gonna come up after a short break. It's gonna be sunset. Now this is. Oh, I've just been told we're not taking a break uh, between bind and sunset. We're going to go straight into sunset after this. Um, well, I do not like that news. I was hoping for a break, but it's all right. Uh, coming, we're going to get back to back action here. Coming into sunset now, um, phase. I think uh, it's a whole new ball game. Oh, obviously, uh, uh, we're going into agents like, wow, this is going so fast, phase. I can't keep up. I mean, 13-0 on the first map, straight into agent select. I mean, it's either next guy just doesn't want to... One of these two teams don't want to be here anymore. They just want to get this over and done with. And, you know, the way next guy is performing, I think on Sunset, they were actually able to beat uh, Team Holden yeah. Holden. yeah, exactly. They lost Icebox, but on Team on Holden, on, on Holden, on Sunset, they were able to bring it back. So next guy, they definitely know what they're... That they're doing on this map this 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 uh this agent comp is super super good i like having sova on the team or, or a fade yeah. you know a sova or a fade can definitely uh break the cypher trips uh the prowler can can actually run into those trips itself so you're able to shoot them so having one of the two is great you can see splash on that phoenix action so, something similar to reyna you can play for your, by yourself uh flash for yourself and just kind of go ham so this is definitely going to be fun to watch but on the right side on the on the screen you can see double duel is being picked up gecko the omen and the cypher a fairly ranked uh fairly ranked composition yeah i think so too and uh you know i was gonna say you know sunset is, is a whole new ball game it's not like bind uh in, in the maps that red dragon have previously played you know um you know, it's a lot more aim duels, I would say, you know, less... I mean, obviously, you've got a lot of strategy in mind or so, but I think for Nexca, how they play it, it's taking as many aim duels as you can. You know, essentially just like any other map, but yeah, for the side of Nexca, I, I'm, I'm confident that they're going to take this this map. Uh, I, I don't see Red Dragon, you know, really doing anything. This is their map pick, obviously, and uh, yeah, they're going to be very, very confident coming in uh, to this to this game. They are starting on the defensive side of things, but still, uh, yeah, I, I believe they will set the pace in this game, and it, it should be, uh, you know, another quick game for them. I believe. I mean, next guy, they are on form. They are ready to hit the road, and they are just probably bummed that they're not in the grand finals themselves. So, kind of taking all that aggression, uh, that that. Uh, that inner uh, inner tilt on the yeah. red dragon you know yeah definitely i, I mean <clears throat> it's unfortunate the red dragon had to be at the receiving end of this uh, they definitely you know played well up until this point uh and, and to be fair even at this point they, they, they're not playing badly it's just uh the, the side of uh next card they, they're just not playing at all at this point they're just going uh they just want to end this you know we just finished Ascent, they don't want a break because there was a 13-0, they're like, let's just get it over with, let, let, let us put you out of your suffering real quick. <laughs> oh man, it feels terrible to say, but, I mean, these guys have been playing Here. like madmen on Bind, you know. This time around, we do have a technical pause, ladies and gents, very sorry for that, but Sunset, one of the newer maps here in the, in the map pool. It's kind of fun, but I feel like it's it's it's, uh, it's much more I, fun I if you it. can bring in the breach. Having a breach on your team. I, I hate the map. Uh, honestly, I I do too. I, I never right, win my I sunset mean, games, but yeah, just trying yeah, to find I, some positive. I, I remember about it. when that they were before before they announced it. I mean, before they showed us the map, they were saying like, oh. Uh, we heard a lot of players like Ascent. This is, is sort of like Ascent. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, I, I like Ascent. Let's see what... This is not like Ascent. This Riot, is... you liars. It's so small and cramped. And yeah. I don't know. I just feel so... So weird. I don't know. I can't... I, it just doesn't work for me. <laughs> yeah, but but it, it's Nexcus, you know, choice of map here. So they certainly 
um, you know, maybe they don't enjoy it, but they're good at it, at least, that's for sure. And uh, they know a lot of comps and strategies for this map. So I'm certain um, we'll see a lot of interesting things from the side of Nexca if um, they don't just go around killing everyone <laughs> really nearly, uh, you know, without using any strategy, because that's probably what they're going to do to yeah that's the thing you know if you're that confident then why not you know what's the point of thinking too hard when you can just literally just w key and and go ham you know but nonetheless yeah it's i've seen a lot of different compositions on this map you know uh, a breach and a raise combination double uh with a fade you know double initiator single duelist it's yep. definitely super strong it's something i like to run on in my comp games but not a lot of people you know listen in, in comp but if I'm yeah, playing Rage, I really like to have a Breach on my team. I, I like to have double initiators. It's just, you, you can really set up a lot of these different things. Especially paired up with the Fade Seas. Your nade as a raise can literally just one-shot an entire team if you place it at the right time. If you combo it properly. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, again, with the Breach, you've got the extra flashes as well. Like, right now, next year, you know... The, the Phoenix Flash isn't really going to help the team that much. So you've got the Omen Paranoia to rely on, and that's about it. So you don't really have flashes. And also, because the, you know, the maps are... I mean, the map is so compact, and the sites are so small, you know, with the Breach when the Rolling Thunder, it just, you know, you're no matter how you, bit, you play the post plant, you're going to hit everything. Yeah. So it, it, it gets a really great setup after that. So yeah, I do really like the Breach here, but... At the same time, with Nexca, because, uh, you know, Splash and Plix are doing so well, you might as well just let them do their own thing and everyone else just, you know, come in uh, from behind and support at the same time. Alright, here we go, ladies and gents. Match 2 here of this bronze match. Leo looking to get very aggressive. Updraft in towards the side. He has no idea that there's someone in towards the smoke. Mojo finds one. They try to wrap towards the back of site. Leo now in towards the smoke that Mojo came from. And he's just not able to find an opening pick. Gets a spot here on towards one of the players. Towards spawn, but look at this. Just back and forth trades. Ryan Gasoline. Ryan Gosselin is able to find oh. one more. Look at Kale just feeling it. So good. This man is down to what? 5, 10 HP. And it's just going to be taking one shot to take him out. 1-0. <coughs> Next that, was a, very quick that was a stellar round there from the side of Next Girl and uh, well, you know what, I, I, I'll i be the glass half full kind of guy. Red Dragon did get the spike down cool, and man. they did get, uh, you know, two kills as well. So, you know, not, not, not the worst result you could get from a pistol run, I would say. Yeah, definitely not. You know, it's just something oh, to help nice bolster spot. the economy. To help, uh, you know, if they go for a full save here, this they can here. definitely... Uh, do a little something something or if you want what you want to do as well so you can kind of go for force by you can bring up stingers specters half armor and it might catch mexico off guards you know so that's something that we could have done a change of yeah pace, at guess. this point um the side of um the side of red dragon need to play really unexpectedly they as you said they need to catch an guy off guard because uh the the normal strategies are not going to work against a team this good right now Def definitely not right now red dragon it's trying to stick together as a team they have one player lurking towards middle splash has spotted out a couple of these players he does not have the curveball here to help him but he will be able to put up the wall to delay to buy much as much time as he can he's already done so much damage to come up inga a little bit more yes he oh. does get the molly here on towards him it's like he sees him through the wall it's just so good the game sense is there. Kale will be able to pick up Leo, who's lurking middle. And that's a 2-0. A flawless round coming in from Nexca. Red Dragon now, they've got the opportunity to bring out the rifles. They've got full-on guns. Most of them actually have light armor, so not able to buy up full shields here is going to be very difficult to deal with, especially since you're up against a Guardian, a Judge, and some Spectres in the hands of... Uh, Next guy, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, I mean, next guy, you know, you know how they're gonna play. They're just gonna, the, the, the <coughs> sorry, the the judge is gonna hold the corner. The specters are gonna run around. Uh, you know, yeah, there it is. The flash coming in as well. They're just pushing in everywhere they can. They they know how to use the proper weaponry in the proper situation. So.
I'm, I don't think of it as lesser weaponry for them. It's a fair fight for them. Here. It's definitely not. All five players Cage triggered. from Red Dragon, they just want to go for this full execution. Gale no longer has his trip, trip wires available here, so they could just actually come in right now. My oh my friend. goodness, Kale oh finding top G through the smoke. Oh, this is tough. They're just running into roadblock after roadblock. He actually managed to tag a couple of players as well with that share of shots. And look at the map control that next guy has already got him. One player towards middle, one to inside Red Dragon spawn. They will check out yeah. ah, Splash, but Tamavinga will be able to get taken out. The trades do come in when look at the uplicks. This man just just hearing every single footstep. He can definitely give away the, the information to the rest of the team. 30 seconds left here. 30 seconds the clock. left. Uplix has a very important position here towards middle. To try to contain them, but 20, 20 seconds left. Where do they go? It looks like they want to go through middle and actually hit towards that A site. So a very smart call from the Red Dragon side. That avoids the time the is running so low here. Okay, they will manage to get it down in time. Leo, good find, does take down Kale. But do they expect this position from where these last two remaining players are from next cut? They've got to keep as many as as many alive as they can here for the tide of Red Dragon. Keep the rifles. Keep that utility strong and there we go. Shaz is able to find one and so one versus three. It's all a down to Mojo. By himself, he finds one, and he will instantly get traded out here by Leo. Great swing. They de were definitely ready for that. Red Dragon finally get a round. It took them, what is it, 15, 15 rounds. rounds, and yes. then they can finally get one round on next guy here. Um, it was the bonus round. They did lose quite a good amount of players, but at the same time, uh, you know, a good round nonetheless from Red Dragon, especially Leo playing uh, very, very smart, catching rotations off while the spike is going down. Um, yeah, and he, he, he definitely saved the team there uh, and got them their first round. Yeah, a bit of an overzealous push from next guy. They had the right idea, but the position where Splash was last round, it was very one and done, you know. He, he, he got one kill, but he yeah. was just not able to get out of there. So they were able to take advantage of that. Nonetheless, once I think again, he wanted to try to go for a flash and go for more, but uh, didn't hit. Come on, let's go. Oh, aggression towards his B main position, and look at this, they're just winning every single gunfight. The paranoia does come in from Shaz, but I don't know if he's going to be ready for this flash, and he definitely was not. Oh my goodness, next guy just bite back in an instance. So I spot the barrel of Leo's gun. Hiding, tucked away in the corner, and he will win it back with a flawless round, my word. I mean, they got that one round, and then instantly get shut down again, and Splash, he gets so much value for an ultimate that only costs six orbs. It's one of the lowest costing ults in the game, and he gets so much value for it. He takes space, he gets multiple kills, I mean, that is just, just crazy from Splash that. It's tough, man. I mean, he's been known to hit his shots. He's been known to overheat. And you put him on an agent like Reyna, like Phoenix, you know, that gives you the ability to overheat because you yeah. can help yourself. Yeah, yeah. You can flash for yourself. You know, it's just so easy for him to make things work. Aduka getting the headshot here on towards Leo. Oh, man. Once again, the duel, one of the duelists has been shut down. You can see another one actually trying to lurk their way towards middle. But Splash is just fully aware fully ready not not rotating because they know red dragon is trying to find these solutions trying to find an opening yeah. in the defense that's tough a main control being gathered by red dragon you have mojo towards elbow going for a bit of a jiggle he did hear a sound put down the dark cover Flash comes in and oh my goodness, just a full on, full on run away. I, one of the players just did not want to fight them at all. He just scraped away. Luckily, they were able to actually take down Splash. Ryan will be able to find shots and that's a 30 two seconds left. four. It's tough, man. They're just slowly, you know, getting thinned down numbers. As, as soon as they're able to step on towards the side, they're just left down to 
to two players. One enemy remaining. Funnily here on towards the site. Next got Kale. Beautiful shots Oops. there. Man, oh man. Their aim is just so good. I mean, that kill, those two kills from Kill, he didn't. Even, I don't think he even stopped spraying for a second. It was like <clears throat> essentially a spray chance for that. And um, you know, again, we we, we talk about uh, how they're getting these early kills, but you know what we need to pay attention to is how many people are there to get the early kills. They've got three players, you know, holding one angle just to get one kill, and they've got no problem with that. You know, they know that they are they have superior players on their team, but still. They take yeah. team fights because that's what you need to do. You need to get that yeah. into your playstyle, and that's what oh, yeah. they're doing. So, yeah, big ups to uh, the side of uh, Nick Skyfall. Get out of my way! Now, look at this aggression oh, here. Yeah, how much value are you gonna get? Uh, he gets one, but the neural theft comes out as well, and now locations are known. Wait, what? Charles will get <laughs> one of his own, two of his own here. A 3v3 all of a sudden, Ryan, can he shut down Charles? Or is Charles gonna get another one? But he won't. Splash will take him down. Finally, a 3v2 advantage back with next guard here. Oh, Splash, he's going for more. Oh, how does he even know? He just goes for it, and now, yeah, he knows where the last play is. He doesn't want to stop. He's gonna go for more here. A 3v1. Oh, the utility will take him out. They don't even need bullets for this. Oh man, I mean, that was a very good play there by Shaz. Uh, being able to get the get on towards the back of site. He not only picked off Kale, but I think it was uh, I think it was Aplix as well. Yeah, I think it was Aplix as well. He was able to find two just beautiful set plays, and that's something that Red Dragon is needs to keep doing. You know, trusting in the executes, playing off each other's utility. And I think they might just yeah, have a chance. The, the executes just get completely halted, though. You know, we, we see one player enter site, and then everyone else just gets stuck behind something. I know exactly. Oh, Shaz. Shaz. Oh, this man is looking to pick up an ace. He's got three kills so far, and he is not stopping. He's already pushed up towards the top of mid. They've given him the information. Kamavinga will find Ryan. Trying to rotate here towards spawn, and it's all down to. Just one player. He's already made his way towards this B main position, but and having five players to deal with. We, I mean, most of them are relatively low. It's just almost impossible at this point. It's something yeah, he can they, try. They, they've tracked. They've tracked every other angle. They know he's coming in on this flank here right now. Togji is going to go for the fight here, pushing in closer. Mojo he gives his gives away his position. Dizzy comes in, Paranoia comes in, but Togji already has the angle locked and loaded, ready to go. Second round on the board for Red Dragon. Much more convincing round led by Shaz there. He suddenly awoken into his form here. Let's see how long he can keep it up for, especially now that the operator has been brought out from the side of Nexga. Now things start to get a little bit more dangerous. You can't just run in willy-nilly whenever you want. You're going to need some flashes and... Unfortunately for the side of uh, for the side of Red Dragon, they've Seen only got Dizzy to work with. Oh man, it's gonna be uh, definitely difficult to deal with this off, especially in the hands of Mojo. One of the players who can definitely use it out. Aduka gonna go for this drone, find the information towards middle. Gets a tag on towards Shaz. This man so far has been phenomenal, you know. In the past two rounds he's picked up five kills. He's feeling hot. Trying to bring his team all the way towards the finish line. Beautiful scan there. Aduka is able to find one, but he just instantly gets spammed here through the A-short smoke. And look at this, the run it back gonna be used up towards short. He's not gonna be able to find one at all, but he's gained a lot of information. He's gained a lot of space here for his team. Three, four versus four. Ultimate gonna be used. A showstopper, not gonna connect, but Top G will find two. Mojo Black finds one more with the operator. Spike down A. He's got the paranoia. He's got TPs to work with, but has he had the information where these players are? Aggression. But Top G, after putting this cipher trip, will swing out and help out his teammate. Two rounds in a row here for the Red Dragons. Okay. Yeah, please. I mean, if I if I didn't know any better, I would say that uh, Red Dragon are making a making a go for it here, uh, back on uh, on the back off the back of uh, Shaz's play there, 
And uh, yeah, they're, they're playing really well right now. They're isolating the fights, they're taking those team fights, and they're getting value for each interaction that they, they have with the side of Nexga. So if they keep this up, I think we have a real game on our hands. Yeah, I mean, you can see already the, the way they push together as a team. You know, we saw the showstopper being popped uh, by the Red Dragon's Rage, but Octi was there ready, you know. Just waiting, yep. trying to go yep. for the trade right behind him. Progression now towards this A main. They have information two places, not just Raze, but Chet is also playing there. But this beautiful one, this is a great one way if you guys want to hold A main. They've shifted their positioning now towards middle. Trying to find sound cues. They hear one market here. Ryan towards the top of mid. That's information they want to... They have, they have quite a bit of information here to go off on, on positions of uh, the next star players here. Dog G will get the first one on the board here, taking Kale down. Advantage for the side of Red Dragons right now. Damn, and look at this. We're just fighting back and forth. One versus three now. A full-on mid push. Great timing as well by Kamavinga to instantly just fall back. Does not want to give away the 1v1, does not want to give away his lifeless flash. Spoke too soon. Because it's a 1 versus 2. Shaz has been spotted out, but the Shaz is the savior. This man has been playing so well. Putting the team on his back. He still has a single curve wall to work with. I think he might just just found it. Finds one. Oh, what the oh, fuck? the second to what respond is as well. Was that? No Jeez. way. It looked like... Yo, what was that shot? It looked like he was going to heal himself and talk to you was going to be able to shoot him down, but he, he turns around with the gun out and gets the shot on towards talk to you. Like, what the... What? No, the timing is crazy. I mean... He was not even looking at that angle at the start. He turned at the last moment and still got the shot off. That is actually insane from Splash there to, to stop the, the bleeding, to stop, you know, uh, the momentum from Red Dragon to get the round back for the side of Dexka. I mean, who else would you ask to do such things? You know, it's, it's definitely going to be Splash. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, yeah, no, I was going to say, uh, for Red Dragon, because they won those rounds, the two rounds in a row, now they've got, you know, money to work with. They've got money in the bank. They can afford another buy. They don't have to get stuck in this vicious, the vicious cycle of continuously, uh, you know, eco and force buying all yeah. the time. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's definitely a bit more, a bit more breathing room here for them to kind of maneuver with the economy. You can see Sadio Mane is actually too orbs away two kills two points away from his ultimate that's definitely something you can take into account because taking b main control that's already one orb that is for basically for free you know there's not really much players trying to contest that b orb but it is nexka there's always a little something they always have something cheeky up their sleeves they always want to try those set executions and so far man shaz has kind of put a stop to that yeah but uh in a splash he's got the uh, he, he's got the runner back yet again now, and uh, yeah, I, I definitely think we're going to see him pop it quite early on here, as soon as he gets into contact, and then, you know, just push for value, either getting space, getting kills, or even just getting info, you know he's going to make a lot out of that ultimate in this round. Yeah, he's already playing towards a... The last time we saw him run it back was towards a main... He was not able to actually take down anybody but you know it just hearing hearing the run it back come towards you you know you're definitely not going to try fight it especially since it's a phoenix yeah. you know the, the curveball can come out and flash you you can get taken out and it's just something red dragon has to be very very careful of because next guy can switch from passive to offense and in the in the blink of an eye yeah, no, that's a very good point. I mean, they, they've done it time and time again. You know, they play so, so fast. And then all of a sudden, they just completely stop. And, it, it, you know, as the opponents, you're like, what in the world just happened? Where is everybody? Where are these players? And next thing you know, you know, you're know, you trying to push to find out, and you're staring down three of them. And they're just so flexible with their plays that, you know, they can just 
do so many different things. So for the side of uh, Red Dragon, you know, obviously they want to try new things, but at the same time, you know, you don't want to risk too much. So it's a really big dilemma that I'm sure Red Dragon is having right now, but uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, Next Guard is a great team uh, that can adapt to a lot of situations, but uh, so far Red Dragon have been playing much better than they did in the first map. So let's see what they got. Definitely three, a lot more. Three more than what they received last round. And they're actually yeah. shooting back, you know, they, they're doing well. Uplix, oh, this Mojo, nice. not finding their rhythm just yet. But so far, you know, it's, it's a team effort. Everyone is definitely chiming in. Red Dragon, I think, three is a pretty good scoreline. You know, 9-3, Curse, it, it's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, Eight to four I mean, would be To great. be fair, they did get 9-3 in, um, in, in, in Lotus when they were playing against uh, Homeboys, but that's still the curse didn't work, unfortunately, that time around. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> three is already good enough. I mean, it's it's a respectable scoreline. Just yeah, I mean, anything is better than getting uh, thirteen node. True, and they've already gone through that. So what? Could, nothing, uh, nothing bad could go wrong anymore after this. You know what I mean? So they should keep their yeah, heads yeah, high. Yeah. I believe there's still that some technical dead. issues where uh, the players are facing Close right game. now, so we'll just have to get that sorted. We don't want any problems having happening during the game, so just take this time for them to sort their issues out and then we'll yes. swiftly get back into the game. We apologize to everyone watching. Uh, if you're maybe impatient a little bit, but don't worry, we'll get back to the action as soon as possible. Oh man, it's tough man, it's tough. Trying to build up yeah, the mental, is. you know, like you're at a, a land tournament, you just got taken out 13-0, and now there's like PC, PC issues, you know, it's it's all just sort of little things get to you, and that's when you kind of need to bring in the inner peace to uh, kind of stop you from overthinking, stop you from going going haywire, going crazy. But these are the highlights yeah, so far yeah. of this map right here. It's looking like a next a highlight reel, but you know what? Red Dragon actually came back. Shaz was able to hit some nasty shots with the rest of his team, kind of backing I, I him up. We get to see uh, the splash, splashes shot, um, you know, in that round, that, that flick shot. Oh, true. That was a good shot. Do we have it? Is this it? No, this isn't it. Uh, this was a good push, though, by... Oh uh, yeah, so much value from that. Just so Damn. much value. And he's probably going to do that in this coming round as well, I feel. I mean, to be fair, Next Cloud had a really great start. And uh, the fact that uh, the side of Red Dragon actually got three with that start, it, I, I'm, I'm impressed. I have to say, I'm really impressed. This is... I mean, right, and, you know, they're, right they're shooting back. That's the thing. That's a good sign so yeah. far for Red Dragon. I think this is the clutch. Oh, this is the right one. Here. This is the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gets the first here. Like, he's not even looking. And then... Wow. What was that? Are you kidding me? He, try he baits him out with a... With a heal. With a molly on the floor. So yeah. Cypher expects and then him to go instantly forward. turns around. Yeah, this is insane. I think that was a few whiff shots too, right? From uh from Red Dragon. Yeah, I think so, most likely, but you cannot miss shots against Splash, you know, he'll he'll take advantage of every single millisecond he gets against you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean you, you gotta go for the instant kill or he's gonna make you regret it. Alright, ladies and gents, thank you for your patience. We are back. Round number 10 here. Next guy leading up by three. Standing Looking ahead. to close things out here in this half. And flash. Beautiful oh, flash here. What a flash. Only one though. Oh my hey, god. The barrage of utility is being used towards A main. The spike is dropped as well. Red Dragon. No ultimate in the hands of the Omen. But Mojo getting very aggressive. Oh, and they're just exactly. so aware. Such a good start here. <laughs> Kale will get the, the counter ult. Let's find out where Shaz is playing. But Shaz yeah. does not have 
the omens hope. So he has to fight this. He has to try go for find this. I have the spike. Find the spike, and he does. He still has the TPs with him, man. He's got one smoke available right now. Next smoke will be available in 10 seconds here. He can go for the spike. Yeah, now he's given away information, but he's actually going to go for the fight right now. This could be good if he can isolate them. He gets the first. Wow. Oh, and he gets the second as well. What a clutch there Just, from wow. Shaz. Very, very well played. They weren't expecting him to push up so far. And he gets it done. Six to four. This is looking much more like a game we expected here, FaZe. I mean, Shaz. Who else do you expect to clutch? I mean, it is just this man himself. We've seen him get multi-kills after multi-kills. When when next guy's trying to take mid-control, Shaz is just there shutting down, shutting them down with a 3k earlier on. This time around, clutching things out here for the team. And that's definitely going to buy the momentum, buy some spirit, some signs of life. The fire inside the Red Dragon is definitely going to be born. Very careful the superior just tag up. Oh, man, gets the kill as well. Good kill, though, Shaz. Aggression. Very, very aggressive, though, from... Oh, okay, makes sense. They're on... They're on a half bar here. Just upgraded pistols for the side of Nexka. Trying to get aggressive. Trying to find an opening. Big, trying to catch the timing here. Onto one of these players. They're playing honestly really slow and safe right now, knowing that you know their opponents essentially only have pistols. And I respect that because you know next guy a team that you make a small mistake and they'll they'll take advantage. Mojo gets down shots and now that's a weapon uh, retrieved for the side of um, next guy here. Leo, he's gonna be taking a fight soon. Paranoia comes in a bit too forward, but ooh, look at left. that! Kill gets the shot to Leo. Is this going to be a thrifty win for the side of next guy? A 4v2 right now. Oh, Mojo B. gets Kamavinga as well. It's all left onto Tojin. Kill will finish it off with the Sheriff. A thrifty round, oh, just as I was saying it. The reason they want to play safe and half. slow is because Nothing even with pistols, next guy are deadly and they get it done. Now the final round of the half here. Next guy clearly going to go into the second half with the advantage, but question is how big a lead will they have? That's not easy at all. I mean, hitting your shots like Kale with that Sheriff, that's... A pretty decent range, you know, it's something you have to watch out for. I think for Red Dragon, what you could have done there is kind of stick together as a team. You know, not, not allow these, these weapons to pick you off one by one, and that's just what happened there. They all eventually got 1v1. And again, Splash yeah. oh. with the run it back. This guy he just gets just... it again and again. Exactly. Information gained. Finally no... shut down. This is the first time he used it without any value, I feel. Yeah, and I mean, with that value, he, you know, he just spotted Raze. He, there was a paranoia there as well. So that's at least two yeah. members. Leo, a nice opening pick there on towards Ryan, towards top mid. Not too shabby, and they want to fight. They want to go for more. Here. Oh, they hear the footsteps of Splash. Beautiful Splash coming in. It's going to give away the position, and they're just going to swing with that. Knives has been popped, and Leo... Wants to go hunting for more. All of the players, oh, actually no, three players from Red Dragon, making their way towards A. There's one in towards B right now who's just lurking, who's trying to find an opening pick. Oh, a clicks, finds Leo. Sadio Mane trying to find his aggression kill, but no, oh, not able no. to find it at all. Oh no, he's Look gonna at stick where the it. last player is. They know exactly where he's at. They don't even need the neural stuff. They don't need it. Oh, Gale that's just kill. unfortunate. That's just unfortunate. That was a good round there from the side of uh, Red Dragon. They're doing everything so well, but Aplix just came to ruin their day. And uh, yeah, Leo was having a great opening round there. And yeah, he just couldn't do anything against it. And the players are too far and they get the defuse. And we move into the second half with an 8-4 eight to four, <coughs> eight to four score. With next guard now on the attacking side, they only need five more rounds to secure that third place, that second runner-up prize pool position. 
Damn. That was so close for Red Dragon. They had the fine idea. Just did not expect a Plix to be lurk, lurked up towards a main already. And just coming back to take down the planter. Just And it's just a beautiful stuff. He kills the planter, he just falls back. You know, tries not to fight. Tries to waste more time. Nonetheless, sides have been swapped. Market door will be closed to deny access. Or at least delay the access here. Towards market. And look at where the pings are happening on the map. They have a bit of an idea. They kind of yeah, want to... This is going to be a pop right here. Flash comes in. Cage goes up. Oh, Flash is not slowing down. None of them are slowing down. Flash will get the first. Now they're rushing in. Wow. Good paranoia. We'll get the second. Need will trade one out. But doesn't matter because Mojo gets... Sadio Mana as well. Now it's a 4v2. The spike will go down, no problems here. And uh, yeah, this seems to be looking like another typical next guard yeah, round. Just super different. You know, not a lot of teams One decide to go ready. for this aggression towards middle to wrap this B site. And they just make it work. They want to go for the kill again. Splash, of course, he always likes to go for the hunt. Already three points in towards the ultimate. He just needs three more. I, uh, I don't know if it's just me or does... Does Phoenix need... It seems like he's getting one more free point. at this point. I think six is a little bit too little for Phoenix. This is ult. He's running back. Uh, I mean, the thing is, people... I, I, they, they made it six because not many people were playing him because it was very hard to... Very difficult to get value out of a Phoenix in a professional comp. But then when you got players like Splash, who just, you know, as his name suggests, makes a Splash, the, the value is perfect. You get so much value out of it. Just insane. Oh, he's doing his thing again. He's got the Vandal this time around. He's, he's second so round. He's not confident. going for Inspector. Going straight for the Vandal. Takes the orb as well. Just two more points is all he needs. Looking to find the fifth. And there we go, the aggression. Execution on towards his A site. They find a gap here. Shaz oh. is good for one. Flash will be able to find the trade here on towards Shaz, who hits a beautiful shot, but the rest of the team kind of just swarming this site with ease. Three versus four. Just a couple of sheriffs here in the hands of the Red Dragon players. Dizzy comes out. They know two players are towards one. Can they hit these shots? Mojo finds one. And well. They're not exactly peeking without anything. They wait for the smoke. They find the timing. Get the shot on towards Leo. The flash will come out. Ryan will get the frag on the get-go. And well, that's double digits secured now for Nexta. It's going to be uh, the bonus round here for the side of Red Dragon. Unfortunately for them, Splash has the run it back already. Within three rounds, he's got the run it back. And I am almost 100% or 1,000% sure he's going to use this to charge into site and uh, to, to, to clear out site here. And, it, you know, it's such a difficult round for the side of Red Dragon to win. It's their bonus round. They should be winning this round. But uh, for some reason, I feel, yeah, next step is going to run through this round like it's nothing. And they even gambled at B site. A site completely open. Okay, all five members towards oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. It's a bit odd, especially since it was it is their gun round. Nonetheless, Spike planted. Spike is down. Four versus five. Can they make this work? They've got the man advantage. advantage uh, yeah. Going into the tree take. An advantage. And here we go. They, I like this. They wait for everybody to come in. And they're going to wrap together. Paranoia already coming out. Utility will delay. They spot one of these players here towards site. And oh my goodness. It's a back and forth trade. And it's all down to one player on Nexka. It's all down to Ryan. Inside that smoke. Trying to find an opening pick. Oh no. He plays it so well. But they're not aware. But Claudio Mane. Here is him. They do have enough time. And there we go. Red Dragon. Once again. Signs of life. Five rounds here. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that timing there could have been detrimental, you know, if uh, Sadio Mane didn't, didn't, didn't turn around there. You know, I, I think there was a good chance that uh, Kale would have easily gotten, you know, two kills there and just, even if he died then, it would have been too late to defuse the spike at that point. I mean, just 
down to what, a couple of seconds. That's just that's the margin that we have here. Somebody's in milliseconds. This spot. But nonetheless, yeah. back at it again. Gun round now. Four decided next gun. No more bonus. No more nothing. They're here to play here at a party. And Leo was just hearing all these footsteps. He's by himself on towards his side. Paranoia comes in. He will. Oh, it will connect, and he just has to dash away. He has to fall back. Wait for the rest of the team. And Aplix has made his way on towards the top of site, top of default. So very smart here by Leo to not get aggressive, not too much, you know. For me, I would have stayed. I would have tried a little something. And there we go. He oh. has found a little something. Aplix taken out on towards the site, trying to find a bit more chip damage. Kale towards the other side of the map does take down a Ravinga. Slow and steady, the beautiful scan comes out. They have to watch out for oh. the spray, and they just get oh, the scan. down. The scan. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That's, that's, that's the value you were talking about, you know, from having that Sova in, uh, you know, a map like this with Ryan. Just putting that one recon dart gave them all the information they need to just close out the round. Splash just had to spray. He didn't even have to go out in the open. It was a wall bank kill. He just sprayed. And the value is just so great. And they got the 11th on the round here. Yeah, that is so tough. I, mean, I, I saw Red Dragon. They were... They, they had the right idea. You know, they, they were waiting together, waiting for the teammates. About to go for the execution. But that scan came in at the perfect timing to delay. Another scan once more towards mid. They spot out a couple of players here. This man can now let go of Tab if he wants to. But he's not letting go. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Look at this next guy just running it down and back to their old form. On a towards that B side, full on mid control. B main split as well. And it's left down to exactly last two remaining players. Neural Theft going to be used as well. Give away the position. Beautiful curveball. Bit of damage done, but ooh, beautiful shot there by Top G. Match Ladies point. and gentlemen, we're at match point and game point here for the third place matchup right now. Next guy looking to finish it up on third place. Red Dragons fighting for their tournament life here. Oh, if they life. can stay alive, they can get a few more rounds, but it's going to be tough. Leo does have the operator. They have put it all up into his hands here. How much value can he get? He does enjoy playing that... Uh, that long position, so let's see how much you can do from there. Oh, they went for a rush here as well. Uh, something different. Oh, sorry, Mane. <laughs> he wanted to bring back the Gecko with the Thrash, but he accidentally ults himself. That's definitely gonna cause a little bit of time. Oh, Shaz no. goes for the TP. Just did not expect Kale to be there ready for that. Oh, man, slowly but surely. Beautiful stuff Last here. They just cleared things oh. out just Hackers like that. Win. The retake completely shut down. 13 to 5 victory here for Nexca. Oh man, and there we go. Finally they secured the third place. What a what a game that was. I mean, uh, in, in the first half they got four rounds from the side of Red Dragon, but then in the second half they only got one round. Uh, you know, and of course Nexca, an attacking sided team, a team that's really really great and aggressive plays they just completely ran through everything round and round round after round they just kept doing the same thing and uh the side of red dragon just couldn't adapt to the situation well enough i mean they had a good amount of hero plays from uh each each of the individual players but it just wasn't enough and you know i have to say in that last round i really like what they did going for like that three man defensive aggressive push and you know to be fair if um the side of Nexca were going to that side of the map, I think they would have won that round. But unfortunately, you know, that, that strategy of theirs or that plan of theirs came a bit too late in the game uh, at the last round, and it didn't work out. And uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Red Dragon will finish in fourth, and Nexca, the winners, will finish in third place. Yeah, I mean, decent effort here from Red Dragon. You know, we knew for a fact that they were the underdogs. But, you know, being able to string at least a couple of rounds together to to make it a bit more competitive, you know, that's exactly what you want. Shaz, I have to commend him because he was kind of the, the player who has been who's, has been finding these opening kills, finding these, these rounds here for the side of Red Dragon. 
decent effort here from him and the rest of the squad, of course. But yeah, like you said, that last round is exactly what we were kind of looking for, you know, throughout throughout this whole uh, this whole series, and it's it just did not work out for them. They just never really just never found uh, Nexca. Nonetheless, thirteen five. Yeah, not not too bad, I guess. Yeah, it was, it was, I mean, it's a, it was a good effort, much better than um, you know what they showed previously before, and uh, especially on a map like Sunset. Uh, it's a very, very difficult map to play because, you know, all the sites were so compact. I mean, you saw Mojo just throwing one single paranoia towards the site and literally the whole site went blind. There's no way you can get any cover at all because the sites are so compact and small. Uh, it makes things very, very difficult. So, you know, uh, big, big props to uh, the side of Red Dragon. They played very, very well this entire tournament, made it into the top four out of 32 teams that played. Uh, they deserve nothing but praise. And uh, I certainly hope to... Uh, see them come and play again uh, but unfortunately for now for both these teams their tournament life is done Nexga and red dragon we thank you so much for playing in this tournament it was a pleasure to view your games uh and now fish we can start to focus on the main event of the day the grand finals where we will see homeboys going up against holden um you know i am just so excited everything from today the theme was building up to this final moment um and uh you know it, again you know a lot of people are going to see new things because you may have seen homeboys play but because uh, you know this morning the semi-finals one was in stream you have not seen holden play so mm -hmm. each game essentially gave us something new to watch there was nothing uh you know boring about it so i, I definitely am so so excited to to get into this grand final game later on i mean two massive massive names it's just one crazy org homeboys you know everybody has heard of homeboys themselves but now another team kind of trying to make a name for themselves here as the holden 2d so we'll see how these guys can can play it out we know for a fact that holden has that firepower they have that ability that skill to work around the map you know they were able to to use that ability to take down nexka nexka the team that literally beat RDT 13-0, 13-5, you know, that Mexica lost to Holden. We're going to see how they fight up against homeboys right after this quick break, guys. We'll see you guys in a bit. Untuk TYP, uh, yang ada petua di kiri belaka Kali ni, before dia awak dah main kat Novoid Arena Sekali ni membawa line-up yang lain eh. Line-up yang lain, so apa awak punya reaction tentang pengajuran kali ni? Pengajuran kali ni uh, agak baik lah daripada yang sebelum ni uh, Dekat Novoid kita buat mungkin keadaan dia agak apa orang cakap 
Sudah sambutan Tapi Masa sekarang Ramai yang terlibat dengan e-sport So Dia punya Macam cakap Penglibatan anak muda dalam e-sport ni Makin ramai lah tahun ni Nama saya Sun Lamsan Boleh panggil saya Sun Daripada Ancient Galaxy uh, Saya sebagai uh, Chief Strategy Officer untuk uh, Action Galaxy Esports Hub Melaka. Saya berasa amat gembira bila nampak ada parents uh, support lah uh, anak-anak mereka uh, untuk menyertai esports. Uh, ini uh, rasa amat uh, memberi supportive lah. So saya rasa uh, esports ni akan uh, berkembang lagi pesat lah lepas ni. Untuk TYT uh, yang ada petua di Kedim Melaka Kali ini, before ni awak dah main kat Novoid Arena Sekarang ni membawa line up yang lain lah Lainan yang lain, so apa awak punya reaction tentang pengajuran kali ini? Pengajuran kali ini uh, agak baik lah daripada yang sebelum ni uh, Dekat Novo kita buat mungkin keadaan dia agak apa orang cakap Kurang sambutan, tapi masa sekarang ramai yang terlibat dengan e-sport So dia punya orang cakap penglibatan anak muda dalam e-sport ni makin ramai lah tahun ni Nama saya Sun Lamsan, boleh panggil saya Sun daripada Ancient Galaxy uh, Saya sebagai uh, Chief Strategy Officer untuk uh, Ancient Galaxy Esports Hub Melaka Saya berasa amat gembira bila nampak ada parents uh, support lah, uh, anak-anak mereka uh, untuk menyertai esports uh, Ini uh, rasa amat uh, memberi supportive lah, so saya rasa Uh, e-sport ni akan uh, berkembang lagi pesat lah lepas ni Gentlemen. 
in the middle. We apologize that she has had a gun and didn't get into a public school, but this is it. She finally came from the TYC Valorant Yala Blaster Challenge Point. Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words, it's been a while since I forgot the most simple words. Oh, I like it very much. I love the fact that it's a LAN event. Mm -hmm. we, in Lata, I feel we don't have enough LAN events. But now, with a new LAN event, and we can hear every time someone clutches up or gets a kill, we can hear them chop. Yeah. And it's, it's a moment, you know, to enjoy as a gamer. You know, you love that moment where everyone, all eyes on you. Kepentingan broadcast ini sendiri adalah dari segi live streaming di mana apa yang membuatkan perbezaan antara tim broadcast dan juga streamer lain ini adalah kepakaran broadcast dalam melakukan live streaming. Contoh daripada broadcast ni kita ada produser macam dalam studio PJ kita untuk event MEL Melaka 2023 kita orang menggunakan dua produser uh, pada hari pertama untuk grand final di mana seorang produser 
berkemahiran tinggi dalam menggunakan OBS Studio dan seorang lagi producer berkemahiran tinggi dalam menggunakan Vmix. Ini pemisahan hal kita ada juga pemain yang dicatatkan daripada kita pemisahan Ramiro yang akan macam mana Matsap. So dalam broadcast ni dia ada banyak software yang boleh dimanfaatkan dalam live streaming Vmix, Streamlab antara yang yang dikenali OBS juga jadi kepentingan broadcast ni adalah untuk menyampaikan satu event tu kepada kalayak ramai contohnya melalui Facebook ataupun sekarang ni TikTok Live Studio dan juga platform-platform social media yang lain Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Selamat pagi saya datang ke Media Sportik 2023 di mana ini merupakan tu bahagian observers ataupun istilah lain pemerhatilah. Jadi contohnya apa yang membuatkan observers ni juga memainkan peranan yang besar dalam satu live streaming. Observers ni yang memberikan konten-konten dalam satu permainan di uh, kejohanan tersebut ke dalam live stream contohnya untuk PUBG Mobile untuk menghasilkan uh, view yang baik observers ni kita ada sekurang-kurangnya tiga orang observers dan ada seorang head observer yang mana dia yang akan mengawal konten ataupun uh, grafik yang dikeluarkan oleh barisan observers ni jadi itulah antara kepentingan production ni dalam live stream ni Kau dah tekan kerja? Kau dah tekan blogger mana tu? Belum pergi. Tekan blogger tu. Tekan kamera tu cepat lah. Kamera yang mana? Kamera belakang tu. Kamera belakang tu. Nanti saya kena tekan je lah. Fokus kena balik. Why I stay is because I believe soon there will be a changes. But knowing ESI, you know they plan their uh, Nasdaq. Is it Nasdaq? Yeah, Nasdaq. You know they give us a blueprint. Because me as a first one, I can't just plan out my own stuff always. Ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one, but the one into my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I'll do it again. I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, give money, then we lay low. Then we lay low.
कप में मुंबई ने दो लाख रुपए को नुकसान सात दो कप बिना सीएम दो कप चुको पाए बोल दे रुक चुका है सरकार का Untuk TYT uh, Yang ada petua negeri Melaka Kali ni Before ni awak dah mainkan Novoid Arena Sekarang ni membawa line up yang lain lah. Line up yang lain So Apa awak punya reaction Tentang pengajuran kali ni Pengajuran kali ni uh, Agak baik lah Daripada yang sebelum ni uh, Dekat Novoid kita buat Mungkin Keadaan dia agak Apa orang cakap Kurang sambutan Tapi Masa sekarang Ramai yang terlibat dengan e-sport So Dia punya Orang cakap Penglibatan anak muda dalam e-sport ni Makin ramai lah tahun ni Nama saya Sun Lamsan, boleh panggil saya Sun daripada Action Galaxy. Uh, saya sebagai uh, Chief Strategy Officer untuk uh, Action Galaxy Esports Hub Melaka. Saya berasa amat gembira bila nampak ada parents uh, support lah, uh, anak-anak mereka uh, untuk menyertai esports. Uh, ini uh, rasa amat uh, memberi supportive lah. So saya rasa Uh, e-sport ni akan uh, berkembang lagi pesat lah lepas ni Oh, I like it very much. I love the fact that it's a land event. Mm-hmm. We, in Laka, I feel we don't have enough land events. That's Betul. now with a new land event, and we can hear every time someone clutches up or gets a kill, we can hear them chop. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's a moment, you know, to enjoy as a gamer. Mm-hmm. You know, you love that moment where everyone, all eyes on you.
Assalamualaikum dan selamat datang ke Malaysia Esport League bagi tahun 2023 Peringkat Negeri Melaka yang dibawakan khas kepada anda semua Kepentingan broadcast ini sendiri adalah dari segi live streaming di mana apa yang membuatkan perbezaan antara tim broadcast dan juga streamer lain ni adalah kepakaran broadcast dalam melakukan live streaming. Contoh daripada broadcast ni kita ada produser macam dalam studio PJ kita untuk event MEL Melaka 2023 kita orang gunakan dua produser uh, pada hari yang pertama untuk grand final di mana seorang produser berkemahiran tinggi dalam menggunakan OBS Studio dan seorang lagi produser berkemahiran tinggi dalam menggunakan Vmix. Di dini pemisahan hal kita ada juga pemain yang dijatuhkan daripada kita untuk serang Miro. Ya kalau macam mana Ahmad Zam. So dalam broadcast ni dia ada banyak software yang boleh dimanfaatkan dalam live streaming. Vmix, Streamlab antara yang dikenali OBS juga. Jadi Kepentingan broadcast ni adalah untuk menyampaikan satu event tu kepada kalayak ramai. Contohnya melalui Facebook ataupun sekarang ni TikTok Live Studio dan juga platform-platform social media yang lain. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Selamat pagi saya datang ke Malaysia Esports League 2023 di mana ini merupakan tu bahagian observers ataupun istilah lain pemerhati lah. Jadi contohnya apa yang membuatkan observers ni juga memainkan peranan yang besar dalam satu live streaming. Observers ni yang memberikan konten-konten dalam satu permainan di uh, kejohanan tersebut ke dalam live stream. Contohnya untuk PUBG Mobile. Untuk menghasilkan uh, view yang baik, Observers ni kita ada sekurang-kurangnya tiga orang observers dan ada seorang head observer yang mana dia yang akan mengawal konten ataupun uh, grafik yang dikeluarkan oleh barisan observers ni. Jadi itulah antara kepentingan production ni dalam live streaming. Kau dah tekan kerja? Kau dah tekan melukis melalu? Why I stay is because I believe soon there will be a changes. But knowing ESI, you know they plan their uh, Nasdaq. Is it Nasdaq? Yeah, Nasdaq. You know they give us a blueprint. Because me as a first one, I can't just plan out my own stuff always. up a check I might do it again enemies close have me thinking nail friends ten toes down I'll be free into the end crib outside the city I don't feel safe in my ass took so many years I'll be swaying for the wins I'm in debt to no one but the one into my sins I do it for real there's no reason to pretend if I do it once I do it again Pakai dalam pemerintahan, jadikan dia, nanti akan ditemui Wina-wina, jadikan 
Untuk TYP uh, Dari petua negeri Belaka Kali ini Before dia awak dah main kat Novoid Arena Sekarang ini membawa line up yang lain lah Lain-up yang lain So Apa awak punya reaction Tentang pengajuran kali ini Pengajuran kali ini uh, Agak baik lah Daripada yang sebelum ni uh, Dekat Novoid kita buat Mungkin Keadaan dia agak Apa orang cakap Kurang sambutan Tapi Masa sekarang Ramai yang terlibat dengan e-sport So Dia punya Orang cakap Penglibatan anak muda dalam e-sport ni Makin ramai lah tahun ni Nama saya Sun Lamsan, boleh panggil saya Sun daripada Ancient Galaxy. Uh, saya sebagai uh, Chief Strategy Officer untuk uh, Ancient Galaxy Esports Hub Melaka. Saya berasa amat gembira bila nampak ada parents uh, support lah, uh, anak-anak mereka uh, untuk menyertai esports. Uh, ini uh, rasa amat uh, memberi supportive lah. So saya rasa Uh, e-sport ni akan uh, berkembang lagi pesat lah lepas ni Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here. 
This is the Malacca Esports Championship 2024. Sorry for the technical difficulties here. This is all organized by MEA in collaboration with KBS. And uh, of course, our managing partners becoming uh, the Rakamura. And the venue provider, the LAN, is actually going to be from the ancient Galaxy Esports Hub. But uh, nonetheless, I'm just going to check if Shin is there. Okay. Technical issues. Technical issues. We're going to provide move on guys ladies and gents so what's going on is we've got the grand finals here homeboys gang versus the hall done t two deeks yeah, these guys are crazy we're going to be heading into the game pretty much straight away here it's going to be um, a cent and honestly this could go either way these two teams have been playing lights out here map one is going to be a cent going to be the uh Team Holden's choice. Map two, we're gonna have split, which is the map pick of homeboys. And the third map by our decider is gonna be bind. Nonetheless, fairly pretty much a mirror. Looks like a mirror matchup there. All right, check, check. Shane, are you there? Yeah, I'm back, Face. Uh, sorry yes, about that. There was no. some uh, issue with the microphone. Uh, but yeah, uh, as I was saying, um, it is the grand final with a long way to finally get here. And uh, I'm excited. We saw a bunch of semi-final games. And now that uh, we're finally at the grand final, we can watch homeboys going up against Halden for the grand prize of 1,500 ringgit. And of course, the glory of being the champion of this tournament. Yeah, exactly. This is the the uh, Holden's map pick here. So I'm sure they've got a little something something up their sleeves. And I'm a bit worried for the homeboys because once we switch to the second map split, th that's the homeboys map pick. But that's the map pick that, that Holden was able to win against Nexca. So they're definitely very, very strong on this map. But look at this, just a full on aggression. An A split. They've already been able to take down one of these homeboys players, but look at this. Pechal manages to even down the numbers. Can they make this work? Just a full-on paranoia. The barrage of utilities and, and shots from the heavens is able to take down two more here from the homeboy side. A 3v2 retake now. The last two remaining players from the side of homeboys down towards hell. But they're just not exactly sure. There we go. They've, gave, they've got the information. Toggle has been taken out. Last man standing, it's all down to Kai himself. Good for one, but Shaz comes in for the trade. Insane shots. I mean, uh, shots. to be fair, Homeboys had a really great start on that attacking side. I think uh, they managed to get into side really well. Uh, but for the side of Holden, they were doing a phenomenal job at just thinning out the numbers one by one, playing off that heaven angle and just, you know, picking them apart. And uh, you, not many teams can do that against a team like Homeboy. So Holden really bringing their A game here. Definitely. And we got actually another player named Shaz. We had Shaz on oh. RDT, and he was pretty insane here. We got now another Shaz yeah. on Holden. Is he going to have a similar similar performances? So far, it looks he looks pretty damn good with that playing on the uh, on the jet with the sheriff. It was very very clean round there for him. Homeboys now realize what kind of uh, what kind of a raid boss they're up against here. Starting to kind of slow things down, find some information. Yeah. Things they are on the uh, well. They did go for it, a little bit of buy onto the Marshall, but other than that, trade here. Marshall goes down, but they do get the trade onto Shaz now. They will pick up the or try at least to pick up Marshall. Oh no! Going for the reset, oh, right wow. Not. Prepare for KJ to be there. Fishball will take down Red. Now a 4v2 situation. That was a bit of a gamble. And I think maybe a bit too greedy there to try to go for uh, the weapon on site. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not every day you expect a KO hiding inside of that 
inside of the next yeah, moment sure. smoke. So fair enough. Yeah. Thirty seconds left. Pretty smart, smart defense here so far by Holden. You know they even though it's a four v two, they don't exactly want to get aggressive. They don't want to to go ham to go search for these kills because so they know, of course, homeboys. Just have to come to them. They have to try to at least get the spike down on towards either of these sites, and all they've got to do is hold it. Last two remaining players now trying to get the spike down. Seiju from oh, Mei takes down Pitchell. He takes down Kai as well, and that's 2 0. So far, so good. And now we're going to be heading into the, uh, the, wind guide your blade. the bonus round here. Well, hold it. All right. I mean, I, I, what is the. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Seiju played, played that so well. I mean, uh, he's positioning, especially. Pushing into the smoke at first and then pushing it towards A main. Um, the player is just completely unaware of his position all the time, getting him three easy kills and denying the plant, which uh, homeboys really thought they were going to get and it would really help them in this uh, yeah, bonus round here. But either way, they do have the weaponry here. Let's see if homeboys with the rifles can best the side of Halden. Already aggression coming in from Shaz, trying to peek B main. He's given away a bit of information that they have taken that B control. But we do have Ren kind of just holding things out here towards B, uh, towards their spawn, basically holding this B main angle. So it's such a such a passive passive angle, but that leaves middle open. You know that leaves a bit of space for for the side of Holden to kind of create some space to find an opening pick towards middle. We'd be droning here towards short, and now they've just got no information. They know B main is clear, and here we go. He they hear the steps. Updraft dash on towards the gen. Does he expect Seiji to be here? Yes, he does. He does spot him. Gets the headshot here on towards him with the Guardian. He'll dash away. And A side is completely open. Kai finds Fister towards short. Very big kill here to turn things down to a 5v3. Paranoia comes out. Will they go for the waterfall? They do attempt it, but look at this. The shots coming in from the homeboys. Gonna be able to shut things down, and it's all down to Zanji. He's got a Spectre in his hands, but not much. Not really the best uh, best amount of uh, well, weaponry to bring out in here. Does a little bit of damage, but Ren will come in for the wrap. Can't really do much in a situation like that. But so far, homeboys staying very strong here. Winning out the bonus here of Holden. I mean, to be, what, what a fast round, though, that was from the side of... Uh... Uh, homeboys, they they really you know they they were walking up towards A main quietly and then they just exploded onto the site and everyone you know knew exactly what to do. Ran as well instantly trying to go on that look, trying to catch anyone who's uh, trying to go towards heaven and then everyone else playing very disciplined on site after they getting the plot down. That was a I, I think a, a perfect default round uh, for the side of team homeboys here. Definitely, especially that the uh, the kill draw, I really. I find it interesting that yeah. Killjoy played all the way spawn. Ren, you know, he's got the turret up towards spawn, watching B main, and he was able to kind of make it in time to go for the execution as well. But nonetheless, that's the kind of play, play style homeboys brings to the game. You know, they play the default game. Yeah. They like to kind of keep keep the uh, their opponents guessing on where these guys are about to attack. This time around, yeah, all five you, members You now. have to be so aware. They love to catch people off rotations and just like catch them unaware at all times. Yeah, Fishball is here. He's a bit, he's got a bit of information. He will open up the Nano Swarm, but oh, beautiful ultimate. The Null Command gonna be used to just deny any bit of utility from this side of the Lord. All the information is being heard. They will be able to make their way on towards the site, but look at this, a 5v5 retake. It's not very often you get to see this. Super slow. Toggle trying to get the first bit of action. Swinging out, not going to be able to get a shot. Oh, he does get the shot on towards Fister. That's going to be spinning down the numbers. Four versus five. Kaiju gets a trade, and he's going to get traded back. And it's just a, a full-on fight towards this CT choke point. Ren is here very late towards B main so he might be able to help his team get the wrap but look at fishball just running Ooh, it down what a shot a beautiful shot indeed two versus two looking for the last two remaining players both located towards lane very very strong position nice smoke's gonna be used here by sanji fishball trying to get this spray transfer but ren will win it out fishball did so much there in that round but even after all of that it's not even enough. I mean, he got three kills. He was so low, uh, but still just not enough. I think um, 
Oh, that was that was a great great round by Fishball, but an even better round by Homeboys playing as a playing as a team. They got that uh, you know that that, that post plant situation set up very nicely, and I love uh, Kaitu for TPing out of sight onto lane uh, instead of trying to take the fight one v two. He joined back to Ren to go for like the two v two fight. That definitely helped them by a lot. Very very smart. Ooh, fast play here from Toggle. Look at them go. They're pulling up a, a strat here from Nexca and Playbook. Already on towards the site, they get the kill on towards Shaz through the smoke. And well, the spike is down, and it's only been. Oh, spike is not down. Spike will be going down. It's only been a minute and 15 seconds. My ult's ready. Minute and 15 seconds left, and well, you can't really do much. Look at Toggle's Here. aggressive positioning. They know for a fact Holden is on that half buy, so you know that's why they're aggressive. That's why they're looking for these spikes. Here. They're hunting for these players. And they are just shutting Holden down. That's one way to kind of break their momentum, break their, their hopes. Winning this is going to be three rounds in a row. Man, just this. Oh, nice lineup there by Kai. Yeah, great spray control. Can't really do much about that, you know. Just a couple of sheriffs. On the side of hall then but fishball now he does pull out the operator here now we know how dangerous fishball can be with the operator he's one of those fast players but also very patient players he doesn't mind holding an angle for a long time uh in order to secure a kill so you know this could be a game changer here let's see how he's going to play that out, Get out of my he's way. The main. oh my goodness oh beautiful beautiful silent there coming in from from the uh, the KO from Zeiji, that's his name. There we go. They're looking to get very aggressive here towards this A site. There's three players all just hiding from the drone. There's, they do not want to get tagged at all. Right here. So we have to be very now careful. Now they have come to a like, complete halt here. Uh, instantly, they're gonna slow them. play this. They have the Hunter's Fury available. But for the defender side, they've got the Killjoy locked down and the null command. So a retake will be very, very possible here. Oh, fishball. Wow, oh, what a, what a shot. There it is. That's what we were talking about, Faze. When he gets that off, he becomes a different player altogether. And now he's aggressing towards B mid. No players there, but Ren sneaks into mid. The alarm bot is there. Oh, and Shaz gets one onto toggle. A 5v3 now. The alarm bot still not triggered just yet onto Ren towards mid. Will he be able to catch any players off or on They're rotation? To, they smoked it off trying to sneak past it actually. So he's got a free oh. access oh towards goodness. market. He did. He snuck past it. Oh, but look at Shaz. Just too good. Two oh, Ren's going to get a free kill on Fishball here. Yeah. Oh. oh, no. Oh, my The goodness. timing. The information has been given. Unfortunate. Oh, they're weak. That's they so the unlucky. Right he did so much. Damn. He did so much to get past that uh, that alarm bot, and all of it just to, you know, get shot in the. I mean, get be waiting by a <clears throat> shooting squad essentially. Yeah, they had the right idea. All he had to do was. Now I think Shaz really shut down that offense, since Shaz was able to get the two kills a main. You know, Ren wasn't able yep. to get the wrap in towards spawn, in towards that a site. So, big big kills there coming in from. Uh, toggle now with an up of his own here. If Fishball can do it, so can Toggle. And is he going to peek out? Here. Slow and steady now. It's not. You cannot exactly go too aggressive. You can't be fast anymore when you have the AWP in your hands as a jet. Fishball still has it here. Somehow not being hit by that drone. Full on mid control, kind of trying to be taken here, but oh my oh, goodness, Shaz is so disgusting with that shot. Toggle did not expect that one coming at all. Focusing on a KO, instantly flicking towards that jet was just wow. Big, big shot. Yeah, that was an insane shot. And to, to just go in, get it, and get out, that shows the discipline that uh, he has, not going for you know greedy extra kills. Yeah, the mechanical skill to actually dash oh, away no. as well. Timing. Oh, he gets another one before he's finally shut down. 4v3 now. 
30 seconds. It's gonna be a bit late, but Zanji is here. Ooh, it's gonna TP out. Four versus three. They've got the kill Alpha man off is now. online. Spike planted. Okay. Okay, Fishball. Fishball just looking so good with that oh, operator yes, in his hands. Picking him off yes, one sir. by one. I mean... Fizz, I know this is uh, very, very early to say, but I have a good feeling we're going to all three maps. Well, I would not be surprised. Yeah, I mean, these teams are so, so well matched right now. Fishball's just feeling himself. Pogba and Ren are also doing a little really well. Kai as well. And, and Shaz, I mean, he's getting those impact kills, you know, or every single round, he's getting some form of impact kills that really, you know, secures the round for his team. So everyone's playing so, so well right now. I, I have a feeling we're going to go all three maps. And just like that, a timeout is called by the side of homeboys here. Down one, <clears throat> down one round, they're going to be thinking on what exactly to do here and how... What, what to buy in this situation? Yeah, I guess it depends on what, how how the money's looking. Homeboys was able to win three in a row. And I think Holden was, has now found a bit of an answer. So they're trying to find find out how they can deal with this this op. As you can tell, I mean, Fishball, like you said, you know, it's once he has that op out, he's a completely different player, and I can see it. This man is definitely an op um, an operator operator user but i think they can definitely keep this form going you know they've they've been going very fast towards that a site it's been working but this time around they want to switch things up they want to find a fight here against a fishball towards his b main position what else do they have yeah, that's true now uh, moving into round number eight here um Looks like they will be going for that, the full buy, as you said. And uh, going to do another default hit here. For the A side, though, they've, uh, they're pretty heavy towards the, the... Sorry, for the defender side, they're pretty heavy towards the A side, I would say. Especially towards A shot. Looks like uh, Charles may want to go for yet another of his infamous A shot, speak, uh, A shot peaks. That guy is dangerous with that, man. He's just mechanically yeah, he skilled, is. mechanically gifted... We've got a, uh, a technical timeout happening right now, but I'm sure that will be sorted pretty much soon. Nonetheless, they're very, they're very, very passive on that B side, Holden. They're just leaving it up to retakes. He's... And I kind of like that, you know, you don't exactly have to always go for these fights. You can hold, you can invest a bit more players towards this A site. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, the, it has the Killjoy set up there as well, so you've got all the information you could possibly need. Yeah, definitely. Trying to pull some rotations here towards this A site. Homeboys, they will secure the orb in the hands of Kai, and he will have the null command available. So that's three different ultimates now. For the side of Homeboys. Oh, that's the plan. Go A, take orb. Create presence, uh, ooh, execute B, yeah, and all command towards Killjoys. So her utility does not work that well. But oh, they decide to go towards middle. Fishball will oh. get scanned. He will get hit by all. He's oh, got to be very, very goals. careful. He will survive. The rest of the team avoid it. Executing now on towards the B side. I don't know if they know that there is a player towards the back. Oh no, they know. The knife has been given, has given away the positioning. Great stuff by Toggle. He finds one. Mister is able to take down one before he gets traded out. But it's a four versus three. Four attackers now. Four homeboys players. Beautiful paranoia there. Will clear out the stairs and look at this Seiju. Beautiful shots. Two versus two. It's only one person on towards the site. One towards the main, it's all Petra by himself towards the back of the site, and this knife may have just given away, have not given that information, so they have no idea. And just because of that knife, they're just focusing on towards the back of site. Oh man. If that knife hit back of site and only scanned one person, they would have been looking around for, for Kaitu. Yeah, that knife was a big game changer in that round, and especially, I have to say, for the side of Halden, they, 
they're having a really good uh, defensive side. But at the same time, homeboys using the utility really well, using that uh, Hunter's Fury to try to tag up um, the mid player and then using the null command to try to turn off the Killjoy um, utility. They're playing it really well. It's just they can't really hold on to the side. Once again, just a classic default play. Time and time again from the side of homeboys. Take A main control. Get the orb on two. Whoever. Just want to farm it up. Oh, this time they don't go for the orb. Nonetheless. Slow and steady. Fishball. Very aggressive, pushing up. Oh. oh my goodness. That was so unlucky for Pokal. I've been in that situation so many times before. You pull out a drone and then they show up. What a round. That is just, that is just terrible news. I know the exact feeling. We all have been there. What in the world? Toggle now. Two versus three. They're just trying to find some plants, a, a sign of life, and they're able to find it. But Fist, uh, big, big round there from the man himself. Coming in from A short. Picking up those last two frags. Moving into round number 10 here, ladies and gentlemen, the side of Halden are looking good on the defensive side. I mean, homeboys seem to have the early advantage. They start off really strong, but Halden, they end much stronger here. Toggle going to go in for a fast push, close the doors. Only with a Guardian in hand, he needs to be careful of being flooded by utility right now. Peaked out by two plays, he goes down, traded by Fishball, will get ran as well. Now a 4v3. This, of course, they only have Sheriffs here. How much can they do? They can get two more and a spike down potentially here. Zeju will even the playing field 2v2 now. Wow. <coughs> oh, Zeju wow. with the nano swarm will take both players, both standing in close procession. That's the thing with that's the thing with uh, <coughs> with, with Chaos Molly. It goes through the walls, under, over, anywhere you can think of, and it just destroys everything. That is just insane stuff. I mean, just that one Molly instantly just taking down two players. Look at Zeju right now. 14 kills. Just at the top, just kind of leading the charge here. Fish, Fishball is there with 12 kills of his own. So these two players really just putting the team on the back and really making big, big impact in towards this game right here. Homeboys down two rounds. Will they be able to tie things back up? So far, their attack was looking very good, but I think Holden has somehow found, you know, found a pattern to to how it goes. Fake aiming. You know, control, I think what it is is they, they've just completely stopped um, going for like the contention. They let them take sight if they are going to rush in, and then they go for the retake. And I, I have to say, Holden's retake is really, really good. Damn. This time around, they actually have the Null Command. They have the Hunted Fury as well to work with. This is going to be so hard for the homeboys to hold hold things off on towards that site. They do have the Killjoy Lockdown to work with. But that's going to be used to actually assist them to enter the site itself. Yeah, but the Hunter's Fury is going to break that instantly here. Fishball will get the first one on to toggle as well. Now already a 5v4. Fishball... How much more can he get? He gets another one. They're not even checking sets. Everyone looking towards backside. Kai will take out Lister. Ren will take out Fishball. Now 3v3. Now command online for the side of Halden. Are they going to pop it? Charles going to be rushing in. Sprays towards the corner. No one towards the box side yet. Peeking in. Oh, beautiful shot to Ren. 3v2 now. Oh, Zanji gets one as well as the last player left. Right, but Kai 2 gets oh. two. No ammo, now no Kai bullets. With the oh again. my god! The classic right click gets it done! 
Incredible clutch there by Kaitu to get the to get the fifth round on the board for the side of homeboys. They needed that round phase. They needed a round very, very badly. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean Kaitu this guy really just stepped up so well. That is not an easy clutch to do. You can see the way Holden coming in together as a team to try go for that retake. The double swing from lane, that last initial player coming in from stairs. He that man ran out of bullets. Kaitu ran out of bullets. He just he needed to use a classic, got the two very, very well placed right clicks. Just so aware. And you see the positioning, the movement. He pushed up towards the box and swung out close with the classic. So, yeah, I mean, it's just the awareness of the entire situation yeah. when uh, these players clutch. It just, it amazes me. All, it always amazes me. It's just a phenomenal play there by, <clears throat> by them. And now moving into the final round of the first half here, it looks like it might be another B hit yet again. Will this be an even playing field going into the second half or will Halden get the lead here? Oh, Fishball. No, they're aware of it this time. They're prepared for it. He's been doing it way too... Way too many times. Yeah, trying to get aggressive towards B main, trying to get information, but this time giving away a little bit of a sound cue now towards this A main position. So they keep players alive, but Fishball taking down two, three players towards oh this B goodness. site. They peek him one by one, and well, if we were doing it one by one, we'll take Fishball will definitely take pleasure from that. Spike is down. Hold on, now it's Kai 2 yet again. Yes, he has salt as well. He can pick up the spike. And now he's got to clutch things out. That's the issue. Where is he going to look for? Spots out Fishball, but ah. Fishball is too good with the swing. 7-5, to five, Holden. We're not that first half. What an impressive round there. 80 kills. Uh, uh, Fishball is running the server right now. But that's not to say that no one else is performing because you know, it's clear that uh, you know from the side of Holden, everyone is doing really, really well. Uh, even from the side of Homeboys, you can make an argument that they're playing decently well here. Uh, but right now, the advantage with Holden moving on to the attacking side. Now, here's the, the, the interesting part where, you know, obviously I knew that Homeboys, you know, attacking was really good. And when they go on defense, they like to play an aggressive setup. But that might be a little bit of a mistake going using that kind of strategy against a team like Halden with Fishball because they love teams who will get too aggressive and they'll punish them for it. So let's see how it goes. Damn, Shaz opening things up hard with a beautiful shot on towards Toggle. Instant takedown. He just had no, no assistance at all. Flash will come through. Tons of damage by that shock dart. Look at Pechal taking down oh. two already. So good with the third. Looking oh, to take, clear things up. Looking for, oh, he's almost picked up the ace, but Kai will be able to take it out towards stairs. Good hold. Oh, he gets four. Four in the round. What a round by him here to get the six on the board for the home boys. Damn, man. What a hold. He made it look so easy. You know, they just kind of ran in towards his crosshair. He did tons of damage as well with that shock dart. So that definitely helped him out there. Yeah, and it was so it was so crucial that he got those, especially that early two kills, because they lost their you know their first line of defense early on, and they could have easily got swarmed, but they didn't because of him. So that was very very impressive. Now moving on to the eco round here for the side of Alden. Let's see how much damage they can do. Outlaw out in the hands of Toggle. You've got to be very careful because this man is dangerous with any weapon. Be it a, an outlaw, just so dangerous. Three kills here so far. Man, oh man. Toggle just makes it look like like what he's using a, a marshal, you know? He's going he's for the ace. Going crazy. Yep, he's going for the ace. Let's see if we can get it here. It looks like they are going to be baiting for him. Oh man. Oh, he knows. Oh, oh he gets oh. the shut down. Kai, I thought Kai turned back and saw him, but unfortunately he didn't. But still, 7-7 seven to seven in the round piece here, ladies and gentlemen. Halden now have the weaponry on. He's going to go take on homeboys. Now it's time for us to see the, the true attacking side of Halden. Let's see what they got. And they... That, that's a good... That's a good two rounds though by Team Pat, uh, 
team. By the homeboy, sorry. <laughs> yeah, getting you know, I make that mistake of, too, don't worry about it. Getting those couple of shots there on for the uh, for the outlaw is just so good. You know, it's gonna, definitely going to build up the momentum. The shot, toggle, great shot there on towards Fishball as well. Still rocking that marsh, that uh, outlaw. Very, very dangerous in his hands. Already putting a stop to the uh, to the attack of the Holden side. Shot is just so aware. Not even peeking, not running away, just trying to go for these peaks, and they're able to clear oh. things out. Four versus four. Just behind the smoke. Oh. Three players waiting. Very, very patient from Holden. They know for a fact someone's trying to come in for a flank. I'm not sure if they heard the footsteps, but oh, the outlaw, just too good. Toggle finding one more. He's got <coughs> the alt already in his hands if he needs to use it. So good. This guy is so versatile. Just around the map playing so well. Ren finds one, gets a dink here. Spike down A. On towards Sanji, but well, it's a 1v3 and he's he's just about to walk into a grinder. A meat grinder and Toggle once again. Geez. Big round. Toggle has stood up, ladies and gentlemen, with that outlaw just going in two rounds in a row now. He's just gone absolute ham here. And he's put him on the top of the scoreboard for the side of Hope Boys. 14 kills to his name. And he gained the advantage for his team now. 78 here. His homeboys come to life. Have they warmed up now? And <clears throat> not too bad. They basically they've yeah, they've won the their bonus round. They've converted the bonus round. Hold it now. Here. In a bad spot. They just have to kinda half buy here, just buy a couple of upgraded pistols. Can't really do much in a position like this. Try get the picks off and look at Toggle finding one. One more. Look at these guys just going in like oh a madman. Jumps towards the top of B Link. So much damage done on towards Zeju, but he will get taken down. The rest of the team's gonna wrap him just like Vision Strikers, and they take them out towards B Link. But what a play from Toggle. You know, we, we see nowadays, you know, after it's become famous, we see that play quite a lot by aggressive teams. You know, Paper X does it. Um, you know, I've seen a bunch of teams do it, but it's still just so nice to watch, I feel. It's like something that I could never do, but it's just so enjoyable to, to watch, you know, these players do plays like that because it makes the game so interesting to watch. That's why I love watching Valorant. Yeah, just they make it look so flawlessly easy, you know, like just updraft here, just yeah. do this. Just, man, this is just still going. Oh my goodness, Mr. We'll get the headshot there Finally. towards Toggle. He tried to pull off one more. <clears throat> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Oh my goodness, hold on a second. Spike down, mid. It's one for one, but hold on. Kaitu will get another here. Can he get another? But he's so low on HP. The what? flash will come in. Wow. He will take another right before going down. A 2v2 now, but... Oh, look at the positioning. Perfect. Gets the man advantage and backs off. And now... It's a 2v1, and he's so solo. He has the spike. Has the spike, but it's only 20 HP right available to him. Still a lot of time of, to work with here. Zeju, one of the, the top fragger, basically, of Halden. He's been playing so well here so far, but this cheeky angle from Pichal, I'm not sure if he'll expect it. Tons of damage done. Scan will come through. It will give the information of what this man is. But no, he's managed to sneak his way through towards spawn, and Ren oh. is just there, ready and waiting. That's double digits secured now for the homeboys. I mean, I think it's a smart play. They did close the market door, so, and we had a player towards the B side, so there's no way the player was entering the B side. So Ren just had to hold CT and be patient and wait for him to come right into Ren's arms. Yeah, definitely. Five rounds in a row on this defensive side. Homeboys really showing. Showing oh, that they're here for a reason. They're here to win, you know. It may, yeah, no, it may I don't not think it's a, <laughs> I think it's a, you know, they just needed time to warm up. You know, they just weren't feeling it. They haven't played in a bit, so, you know, the, the, the wrist was a bit rusty. And, you know, now that they're here, they're here to win. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this is the map pick of, of Holden. So, you know, I'm sure 
we can definitely see that Holden is comfortable on this map. You know, they've been making some some plays, Zeju, crazy stuff, Fishwall as well, that op. It just seems so, it seems like he's at home, you know. Every single angle, which whichever way he decides to flick, he just is able to hit it. But Homeboys right now is just really playing so well together, dude. The way their their aggression, their aggression, everything, and uh, yeah, absolutely. It might be taking the team, the team play is phenomenal. But uh, you know, at the same time, even even Holden is playing really well as a team. But uh, I, I think it comes down to you know just how how smart they are as a team for for Homeboys. You know, everything they make as a team is perfect for the situation that they they're in. They don't make the wrong decision. Or to be accurate, they rarely make the wrong decision. Yeah, they are just looking a lot like Nexco, a well old machine. And especially when you have people like Toggle popping off, you know, alongside Kai. All it, all they need is look at Toggle, like nine thousand credits. Petrol has full bot weapons utilities and he's got 8.5 here to his name so they are just on a roll this pause right here definitely going to slow down i believe momentum. it is a technical pause from uh, some of the players they've got some issue oh i see okay so we've just been told uh, the players are having um some drinks and food just a little bit just to Get through Iftar. It is Bukapwasa time for everyone, so we have to be respectful for that. Allow them some time to, you know, rehydrate. Oh man, after that hydration, maybe. maybe yeah, Holden might exactly just come what I was back. thinking. You know, like... exactly what I was thinking. I know it's bad to think that because it's a religious thing, but still, that was the one thing. Yeah, I came man. Outside. They're probably gonna They've play much better energy. now since Yeah. Because I know for a fact that if I don't eat. God damn, I'm I'm gonna be shaking. I can't shoot. I can't get that precision, you know. So once I See, once I get you through my blood stomach, sugar. yeah, exactly. So that's maybe what Sanji's going through. I'm kidding. Jokes, Sanji's <laughs> jokes. <laughs> I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe it really is what he's going through. Um, but yeah, so we'll just take. You know, they're not gonna have a full meal or anything. It's just going to be a little quick bite to eat just to fill up their tummies a bit. Yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> just a little bit, let them uh, refresh it up, and then we'll get straight back into the game. Definitely. Plus, this is the highlights. Uh, for, for, for homeboys, it's just three more rounds, you know? If I was them, I was like, you know what? Let, let's just, why don't you just let us beat you? Give us the three rounds, and then you can uh, take a break and eat. Exactly. <laughs> That's messed up. But I mean you can already see this this game is definitely going one way and it's definitely towards the homeboys. As soon as they got the defensive side, you you can tell they were here to play. Okay, we're back oh, in. Okay. We're back. These guys have all eaten, they're all fueled up. We'll see whether or not food makes a difference Let's here. Let's see what that the energy looks like. Let's see how it goes. Imagine they just get food comas and they just <laughs> GG. No, but they've only eaten just a little bit, I think, right? So I think they yeah. should be alright. Charles, he looks like he has energy. He looks like he has energy to go. He's going to be leading the charge, pushing into this A side here. That really needs a few good opening kills for his team to get onto the site. They can't just get on site and plant the spike because, you know, they are losing. Oh, look in at Toggle the pushing up middle already. Post plants. Oh, yeah. Toggle might get in a. Oh, oh my! Oh he my! He spotted the cap. I was just going to say, Toggle oh, might get caught dear. off guard here, but look at this. This hole oh, coming in from Lord, the whole boy. Dear so Lord. Flawless. Oh my Jeez. word. 7-11. The food buff worked for homeboys instead of all that. Yeah, no, that was just a insane round there that pushed towards mid, spotted out just the top of the head, and then look at this pop off here. The lineup and then turn oh, so good. Two quick kills. Three. By the last, and that's it. That is crazy. Get out of my oh, this is a, oh, the knives popped though from the side of. Oh, and it's a quick one towards mid here with the knives. 
from the side of Holden. However, no one's there to greet him just yet. The alarm bot will be taken out of play here. And... Uncle once again, already aggressing towards the top of mid. He might find... Oh, he might, yeah, he, might, he does find How Shaz. How does he do this? This guy is just pushing up main, pushing up mid, free real estate for him and always finding a kill. And that's... Yeah, and he's always got so much freedom to push up. Does he have walls oh, or something? Oh, I don't know, he's got that food buff, man, that's crazy. Yeah. Pichal <laughs> finds one. We'll be able to get a beautiful scan here. Two players towards the backup side. They know Pichal is here, but does not expect to. They may have heard the shots, they may have heard two vandals being thrown out. Can they make this work? Paranoia. I two. Good oh, for one. Spike is down. Three versus two. Pechal still towards the back of the side. Somehow keeping things alive here. Keeping this threat. Keeping this constant pressure here on towards his B side. They make it work. And Kai is, is able to walk up. Get the last two frags. Secure match point for homeboys. It's 7 to 12 now, and this is match point for the side of homeboys. I mean, uh, FaZe, it started off, I think you can agree with me, it seemed like a 50-50 anyone's game. Both teams were playing really, really top tier standard, but ever since that switch up in that half, uh, you know, oh, yeah. homeboys just hit a completely different stride, and they have just completely run away with it. It was at one point a 7-5 seven, seven, half, Holden has not won a single round. Yeah, it's been a flawless defense here so far. And Holden, they just want to force the issue right now. They want to make their way on towards his B site. Make things quick. Maybe end Ooh, things to go back on faster. But Ren, <laughs> just playing oh, in Ren towards his off. Oh my goodness, that's Seiju, the, one of the best, the better fraggers here on the Holden side. They've got the Hunter's Fury. Were... Oh, if Ren gets one mind. more here, he can use the lockdown as well, so that becomes more dangerous. They don't want to die to Ren. Oh, man. oh there it is. Lockdown's gonna come in right here, right now. And it's a 3v2. Make it a 2v2. Scale goes down. Lockdown gets shut down as well. Hunter's Fury and Lockdown both available for the set of Holden. They're not using wow, it yet. Fishball. Fishball, take out one. And there it is. They use the lockdown here. Fishball. Kai goes down. Ooh, but I don't think... Yeah, Kaito will have to get out of there. Oh, the TP Ooh, in. This is interesting. Play. Smoke. Does he have time for this? Oh. Oh. Oh, he's no, just going to no go for the kill. Yeah, he's oh, just going to go for the kill. But that yeah, even, even, even just that is so good because, you know, they haven't won a single round and they invested everything they had into this round. Losing all their players, the money is going to be really, really scrappy for them we see they do get vandals but it's just a bunch of light armors all around so this round you know is going to be really difficult to win the first round they win in the second half comes at essentially the penultimate round phase that just shows how well homeboys have been playing in this defensive half yeah exactly i mean just super smart he, he, Kai, kaitu knew he was not going to win it you know yeah gets just makes his way on towards the side just to at least force killjoy Force Fishball to lose his weapon because winning what seven runs in a row for homeboys, you know, they have all the money in the world, they can all die, it doesn't matter, they're still able to rebuy. But look at what's going on towards A short, full on aggression. Shah's already pushed up towards this little catwalk, he will fall back, make a lot of noise, but still no rotations coming in from the side of the homeboys. So, so disciplined. Wow, they're oh, trying they to pull off a bit of a, a bait. Yeah. Yeah. Nonetheless, no one moving at all. Kaitu. Kaitu. Big frag. That's the smoker gone. No more controller for the side of Holden. It's yeah, obviously it like they are so going dangerous. To go for a B hit here. They got three players towards B main, one player towards market here. They do have the Hunter's Fury available for them. And it looks like it might be used here. Before going into sight, recon comes in. Nothing spotted. Oh, Ren wow. will get two, and there it is. This might be it, phase. Oh, yep. I will get the last one, and the side of homeboys take map one in a really, really convincing fashion. 13 8 is the final score, only dropping one single round in that second half. What a game plan there.
by homeboys. I'm not sure if they're just a def you know they were just better at defense or did they you know uh, need time to get warmed up. But either way, uh, you know, I'm here for it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they were just really. But this map started off pretty back and forth. It was, uh, like you said, it was maybe like 50-50. I really thought that Holden may have had the chance to kind of pull away with this one. But as soon as they swapped sides, you know, it, it was a whole different homeboys. They had Toggle popping off, Toggle pushing B main, pushing middle, getting free kills, pushing A main towards the top of mid, getting a kill towards the bottom of mid, falling back towards site, you know, like they get the kills, they're responsible. And they don't overdo it. They don't overheat. Maybe that was that yeah. one round where they tried to do the vision strikers. Uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, and uh, but that's you know, looking it. at these highlights right now, the one one trend that I realized was when Halden was on the defensive side, we were talking, you know, we were saying, we were complimenting uh, Diajet and Killjoy so much, Shaz and uh, uh, Fishball so much on their place. And then as soon as homeboys get on the defensive side we were doing the same thing about their jet and killjoy yeah. ren and uh and, and toggle uh, maybe it's just the that, that 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 duo when it comes to this map on defense that uh it just becomes really good i don't know but uh either way it, it was a great game played from both of them i wouldn't say it was a domination per se uh in any means 13-8 is a very respectable score line but uh yeah. definitely i mean look at fishball he's leading the scoreboard here he definitely went above and beyond um, for his team there. And so did Zeju. But uh, it just wasn't enough here. 13 8. They need to work on the defensive side. That seems to be a weakness for them. Um, you know, and, and they don't have much time, you know. They only have, you know, essentially next map, if they lose, yeah. they, they go home. <laughs> they need to win the next map. Definitely. And the next map is going to be the map pick of homeboys. That's going to be split. We saw Holden win on split against Nexca. You know, it was very convincing. Nexca is one of those teams where they've always got something uh, planned. They've always got a, a, a setup, a protocol, you know. And Holden was able to win it, but it was a, by very, very slim margins. You know, 14 to 12 on overtime. Can they do the same against Homeboys, a, a team that's that's been together for quite some time? Uh, uh I think it's I think it's very very possible. I mean, Nexca is one of the best teams in the world. You know, I, I can easily say that best teams in the world when it comes to split. Um, you know, and easily one of the best teams in Asia when it comes to split. And the fact that they lost out to to Holden on split, even if it's by the slimmest of margins, that shows that Holden, you know, they know they're split. So, mm -hmm. uh, although it's homeboys pick here, uh, I, I give Holden a very very good chance coming into split. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes, but. Before that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we get into map two of the grand final. So stick around. Sebelum ni, uh, dekat Novo kita buat mungkin keadaan dia agak apa orang cakap kurang sambutan. Tapi masa sekarang ramai yang terlibat dengan e-sport. So, dia punya orang cakap penglibatan anak muda dalam e-sport ni makin ramai yang tahun ni. Nama saya Sun Lamsan. Boleh panggil saya Sun daripada Action Galaxy. Uh, saya sebagai uh, Chief Strategy Officer untuk uh, Action Galaxy Esports Hub Melaka. Saya berasa amat gembira bila nampak ada parents uh, support anak-anak uh, mereka uh, untuk 
menye- menyertai e-sport uh, Ini uh, rasa amat uh, memberi supportive lah So saya rasa uh, e-sport ni akan uh, berkembang lagi pesat lah Lepas ni Oh, I like it very much. I love the fact that it's a LAN event. Mm-hmm. We, in Rata, I feel we don't have enough LAN events. That's now with a new LAN event and we can hear every time someone clutches up or gets a kill, we can hear them chop. Yeah. And it's, it's a moment, you know, to enjoy as a gamer. You know, you love that moment where everyone, all eyes on you.
Assalamualaikum dan selamat datang ke Malaysia Esports League bagi tahun 2023 Perikat Negeri Melaka yang dibawakan khas kepada anda semua Kepentingan broadcast ini sendiri adalah dari segi live streaming di mana apa yang membuatkan perbezaan antara tim broadcast dan juga streamer lain ni adalah kepakaran broadcast dalam melakukan live streaming. Contoh daripada broadcast ni kita ada producer macam dalam studio PJ kita orang, untuk event MEL Melaka 2023 kita orang menggunakan dua producer uh, pada hari yang pertama untuk grand final di mana seorang producer berkemahiran tinggi dalam menggunakan OBS Studio dan seorang lagi produser berkemahiran tinggi dalam menggunakan Vmix. Bila di tulisan hal kita ada juga pemain yang dijatuhkan daripada kita Putusan Amiro yang telah macam mana Ahmad Zaf. So dalam broadcast ni dia ada banyak software yang boleh juga pakai dalam live streaming. Vmix, Streamlab antara yang dikenali OBS juga. Jadi Kepentingan broadcast ni adalah untuk menyampaikan satu event tu kepada kalayak ramai Contohnya melalui Facebook ataupun sekarang ni TikTok Live Studio Dan juga platform-platform social media yang lain Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh Selamat pagi saya datang ke Reja Esports League 2023 Di mana ini merupakan Itu bahagian pagi. observers ataupun istilah lain pemerhati lah jadi contohnya apa yang membuatkan observers ni juga memainkan peranan yang besar dalam satu live streaming Observers ni yang memberikan konten-konten dalam satu permainan di uh, kejohanan tersebut ke dalam live stream Contohnya untuk PUBG Mobile Untuk menghasilkan uh, view yang baik Observers ni kita ada sekurang-kurangnya tiga orang observers dan ada seorang head observer yang mana dia yang akan mengawal konten ataupun uh, grafik yang dikeluarkan oleh barisan observers ni. Jadi itulah antara kepentingan production ni dalam live streaming. Kau dah tekan kerja? Kau dah tekan belum game baru? Why I stay is because I believe soon there will be a changes. But knowing ESI, you know they plan their uh, Nasdaq. Is it Nasdaq? Yeah, Nasdaq. You know they give us a blueprint. Because me as a persatuan, I can't just plan out my own stuff always. up a check I might do it again enemies close have me thinking they friends ten toes down I'll be free into the end crib outside the city I don't feel safe in my hands took so many years I'm just waiting for the wins I'm in debt to no one but the one into my sins I do it for real there's no reason to pretend if I do it once I do it again I 
Doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Never die when the world is coming to you. Can you hear them screaming out from bed? Untuk TYP uh, Yang ada petua negeri Melaka Kali ni Before dia awak dah main kat Novoid Arena Sekali ni membawa line up yang lain eh. Line up yang lain So Apa awak punya reaction Tentang pengajuran kali ni Pengajuran kali ni uh, Agak baik lah Daripada yang sebelum ni uh, Dekat Novoid kita buat Mungkin Keadaan dia agak Apa orang cakap Kurang sambutan Tapi Masa sekarang Ramai yang terlibat dengan e-sport So Dia punya Orang cakap Penglibatan anak muda dalam e-sport ni Makin ramai lah tahun ni Nama saya Sun Lamsan, boleh panggil saya Sun daripada Ancient Galaxy. Uh, saya sebagai uh, Chief Strategy Officer untuk uh, Ancient Galaxy Esports Hub Melaka. Saya berasa amat gembira bila nampak ada parents uh, support lah, uh, anak-anak mereka uh, untuk menyertai esports. Uh, ini uh, rasa amat uh, memberi supportive lah. So saya rasa Uh, e-sport ni akan uh, berkembang lagi pesat lah lepas ni
you know, oh, I like it very nice. much. I love the fact that it's a LAN event. Mm -hmm. we, in Laka, I feel we don't have enough LAN events. That's now with a new LAN event, and we can hear every time someone clutches up or gets a kill, we can hear them chop. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's a moment, you know, to enjoy as a gamer. Mm -hmm. You know, you love that moment where everyone, all eyes on you. Selamat datang ke Malaysia Esports League bagi tahun 2023 Peringkat Negeri Melaka Yang dibawakan khas kepada anda semua Kepentingan broadcast ini sendiri adalah dari segi live streaming Di mana apa yang membuatkan perbezaan antara tim broadcast dan juga streamer lain ini adalah Kepakaran broadcast dalam melakukan live streaming Contoh daripada broadcast ni kita ada produser macam dalam studio PJ kita orang, untuk event MEL Melaka 2023 kita orang menggunakan dua produser uh, pada hari yang pertama untuk grand final di mana seorang produser berkemahiran tinggi dalam menggunakan OBS studio dan seorang lagi produser berkemahiran tinggi dalam menggunakan Vmix di sini pemisahan hal kita ada juga pemain yang dijatuhkan daripada kita pemisahan Amiro ya kalau macam mana Manzam ada yang naik So dalam broadcast ni dia ada banyak software yang boleh diberi pakai dalam live streaming Vmix, Streamlab, antara yang dikenali OBS juga Jadi kepentingan broadcast ni adalah untuk menyampaikan satu event tu kepada kalayak ramai Contohnya melalui Facebook ataupun sekarang ni TikTok Live Studio Dan juga platform-platform social media yang lain Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Selamat pagi saya datang ke Malaysia Esports League 2023 di mana ini merupakan tu bahagian Sports observers League. ataupun istilah lain pemerhati lah. Jadi contohnya apa yang membuatkan observers ni juga memainkan peranan yang besar dalam satu live streaming. Observers ni yang memberikan konten-konten dalam satu permainan di uh, kejohanan tersebut ke dalam live stream contohnya untuk PUBG Mobile untuk menghasilkan uh, view yang baik observers ni kita ada sekurang-kurangnya tiga orang observers dan ada seorang head observer yang mana dia yang akan mengawal konten ataupun uh, grafik yang dikeluarkan oleh barisan observers ni jadi itulah antara kepentingan production ni dalam live stream ni Eh, kau dah tekan ke je? Ha? Kau dah tekan belum game baru? 
Why I stay is because I believe soon there will be a changes. But knowing ESI, you know they plan their uh, last deck. Is it last deck? Yeah, last deck. You know they give us a blueprint. Because me as a Persatuan, I can't just plan out my own stuff always. Check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one into my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. I done doubled up on the workload I think I fell in love with the bankroll Pray up, get money, then we lay low Then we lay low Add it up, add it up Untuk TYP uh, Yang ada petua negeri Melaka Kali ini Before dia awak dah mainkan Novoid Arena Sekali ini membawa line up yang lain eh. Lain up yang lain So apa awak punya reaction Tentang penganjuran kali ini Penganjuran kali ini uh, Agak baik lah Daripada yang sebelum ni uh, Dekat Novoid kita buat Mungkin keadaan dia agak Apa orang cakap Kurang sambutan Tapi Masa sekarang Ramai yang terlibat dengan e-sport So Dia punya Orang cakap Penglibatan anak muda dalam e-sport ni Makin ramai lah tahun ni Nama saya Sun Lamsan, boleh panggil saya Sun daripada Ancient Galaxy. Uh, saya sebagai uh, 
Chief Strategy Officer untuk uh, Action Galaxy Esports Hub Melaka Saya berasa amat gembira bila, bila nampak ada parents uh, support lah uh, anak-anak mereka uh, untuk menyertai e-sport uh, ini uh, rasa amat uh, memberi supportive lah so saya rasa uh, e-sport ni akan uh, berkembang lagi pesat lah lepas ni Oh, I like it very much. I love the fact that it's a LAN event. Mm-hmm. We, in Laka, I feel we don't have enough LAN events. That's Betul. now with a new LAN event. And we can hear every time someone clutches up or gets a kill, we can hear them chop. Oh, oh, and it's, it's a moment, you know, to enjoy as a gamer. Mm-hmm. You know, you love that moment where everyone, all eyes on you.
Hello, Assalamualaikum dan selamat datang ke Malaysia Esports League bagi tahun 2023 Peringkat Negeri Melaka yang dibawakan khas kepada anda semua Kepentingan broadcast ini sendiri adalah dari segi live streaming di mana apa yang membuatkan perbezaan antara tim broadcast dan juga streamer lain ini adalah kepakaran broadcast dalam melakukan live streaming contoh daripada broadcast ni kita ada producer macam dalam studio PJ kita orang, untuk event MEL Melaka 2023 kita orang menggunakan dua producer uh, pada hari yang pertama untuk grand final di mana seorang producer berkemahiran tinggi dalam menggunakan OBS Studio dan seorang lagi produser berkemahiran tinggi dalam menggunakan Vmix. Ini di pemisahan oleh kita ada juga pemain yang dijatuhkan daripada kita di Sarang Biro. Ia akan macam mana, Matsap? So dalam broadcast ni dia ada banyak software yang boleh digunakan dalam live streaming. Vmix, Streamlab, antara yang dikenali OBS juga. Jadi Kepentingan broadcast ni adalah untuk menyampaikan Welcome back everyone We are here today at the grand final map We just finished map number one uh, About half an hour ago And now we're headed to map number two And FaZe, this is potentially the last map of the tournament here We could be crowning our champions right after this map uh, I mean... To be fair, I really hope we go to map 3, but at the same time, you know, if, uh, if, if homeboys are playing the way that they are in the first map, I, I think this might be done in 2. Yeah, I mean, just the way they were playing on the defensive side on the scent, they were just flawless. I think it was 5-7, to seven. Uh, Holden yeah, was actually winning were, it out. They, they were up 7-5, to five, and then they didn't win a single round until, uh, yeah. you know, the, the second last round, and it's 13-8 yeah. after that. Just crazy. So they're very dominant on the defensive side. And luckily here for the side of Holden, they're able to start off on towards the defensive side. So maybe that's mm -hmm. definitely going to help them out here, uh, lend them a hand. And uh, yeah, this map pick right here, Split, is actually the choice of homeboys. So Holden, we saw them play up against the likes of Mexico earlier. So we know for a fact that they can play this. They went 14 to 12. They've got some tricks up their sleeves. They're able to take that mid control fairly well. But uh, that's all the information we have. We didn't, we weren't able to really see much of a, a defensive side from the Holden boys. So we'll see if uh, well, we'll, we'll just have to watch ourselves because that'll learn. Yeah, I mean, uh, but I, I do remember that Fishball was an, was really really good on uh, Split when they were playing against the Next Guard. Mm -hmm. In semi-finals one, obviously uh, that game was in stream, but we saw it, and Fishball was really uh, on point, especially towards uh, the mid side and B. Um, let's see if he can uh, replicate that performance here against Homeboys when you know their back is against the wall, essentially here, ladies and gentlemen. Potentially the last game of Valorant here in this tournament. Here we go, round one. We've got <clears throat> we've got Homeboys on the attacking side here. Are they going to start out strong or are they going to start out slow? Depends here. Key is going to send in the Tiger or Toggle instantly. Satchel's in to follow up. There's a player backside, but he's covered by the Cloud. Wow. Fishball will take him out. There we go. They're just going to try to flood the side here as the screen is up. This did not expect two players to be here. A bit of a crossfire setup and Ren misses the shot on towards Fishball. Somehow staying alive to take down three. Beautiful shots coming in from Pichal. One versus two. This man is still healthy. He's got the ghost in his hands. Information has been given. So right now he's got to find the one versus one. He needs to split these guys, these guys out. And there we go. He finds one, but not oh. going to be able to find a second. So close yet so far. Zanji will save Holden here in this first round. I mean, the heroics from both players, from both teams. I mean, Fishball dancing around the backside like a ballet dancer uh you know getting three kills back to back to back and then Pakal, you know you, you, i never even saw that coming how did he get those taps off you know even got the second last player you know he gave me hope for a second there but finally you know it was too much to handle and he goes down but what a round that was what a first round but it will go to holden and uh, a much needed round at that they're gonna regain potentially a bit of confidence here moving into round number two yeah if you guys missed it homeboys did win out the first round 
first map. So if they win this one, they are going to be your champions. So Holden really have to just do whatever they can to win this one, to, to force it to map three. But this wall here, this Viper wall, the double controller take, this allows them to walk in towards this B site for free. They will get the spike down, which is definitely going to help their economy. And yep, they do get the spike down. Oh my oh, goodness. Maybe a little bit more than just a spike down here. Tons of damage being done already. They've taken down two players towards spawn. Nade gets there. Kaiju especially finds Sergio as well. So this is getting a little bit more closer than usual. 1v3. It's all down a fish wall. Oh wow. This He's is the going to be the craziest as well. thrifty ever. Oh man. This is ready. No damage, no, not tagged at all, down to 98 HP, so he can still definitely win this one out. No cage to help him. He knows where both these players are. He's got the half, gets the first. Oh. Does he find a 1v1? He's the second, oh, yes, he, he does. does. What a play. What a clutch. Fishball, the savior. Oh my That was what, yeah. I mean, yeah, okay. Before we get into what an amazing play that was, that was a really poor round from the side of Holden that you know you were going up against pistols and you let them just walk into sight, get the spike down and then force yourself into a 1v3 situation. I think, I mean, you just look at the economy right now for the side of Holden is really bad. Uh, a very, very big misplay from them. But from the side of Fishball, obviously absolutely huge heroics. They have four kills for him in that round and an amazing clutch by him. Man, good, good thing he had the round in his hand. No. Any other weapon that could have been a uh, bit more yeah, dangerous. Yeah, would have been done for. Yeah, yeah. Unless now, bonus round. As you said, for holding, but you know, their money, it looks like they just have bought, you know, upgraded pistols. It's more like an eco because they barely have anything. They do have a Bucky in the hands of the Rays, who is playing towards Mailroom. Just behind I'm surprised he didn't come out when Toggle yeah. came in, but yeah, he's just holding for now. Very, very Lost passive. a teammate, and now it's a 5v4. Yeah, they're still playing it super passive. They're going to be trying to make their way in towards B. The spike is already heading towards B main. Kai has to be very careful. Luckily, he does manage to go for the dog. Information has been given. Flash is out, but they're still holding. Fister does not, does not hold back. He will get traded out. The guns will prevail here as the Vandals just reign supreme over these upgraded pistols. It's all down to Fishball once again, and there's just no way for him to clutch this one out again. Yeah, there's really so much one man can do there, but uh, finally now a round on the board for the homeboys, but uh, definitely a convincing round there. Uh, but uh, again, I'm, I'm, I was a bit, I'm a bit um, confused as to why... Um, I believe it was Toggle, right? Who's, yeah, Toggle just stayed in mail when... Uh, uh, <clears throat> when Fister just, you know satcheled out into the open i was surprised he didn't you know jump out and try to get the kill or at least the trade onto his teammate uh but okay all, all in all still not too bad of a round i would say not too bad at all homeboys also keep like a pretty healthy amount of players alive i think it was four in total if i'm mistaken still alive after that round so that will definitely bolster their economy holding these they're able to buy up once again but still you can see already most of the players have half armor. Something is missing. A guardian here in the hands of Shaz, but Shaz is a very dangerous player. Flash towards B main, try to get control, but they have no idea. Kai lurking towards B main, just ready for any sort of aggression. Mid take already in the controls of homeboys. Oh, it's actually Ren. Ren on that on that Viper, just aware. He gets two. Mm. Pushing up B main. That's a big, big kill. Massive opening here on towards the B site. Sanji, he has made a step, so I'm pretty sure they're aware. They swing out at the same time, but Sanji's just too quick to the trigger. Paranoia comes out, and he makes it away safely out towards B main. Oh, man, but look at this. Look how quick the rap came. Holden and the gang. Oh, wow. Such a fast retake. They just have no time to, to react at all. Uh, it looked really good there for a moment for homeboys when... Uh... When they got the first two opening kills by Ren, um, and but then they just walked in completely blind. One was looking left, one was looking right, no one was looking right in front of them. And uh, Zanji just cleaned up there, and the support from CT came in, and they just got 
instantly shut down uh, a really well good hold from the side of uh, Holden here. Definitely, and they even didn't swing at the same time, you know, like... Yeah. It was like half a second off on the second swing, but... No less decent effort so far. Everyone is you know, playing it pretty smart. Single orb on towards Toggle. He will be able to pick it up. He will secure that showstopper. Vister oh. pushing up with the judge in towards market. He has assistance. Seiju kind of holding this this double stack box towards the middle. But I feel like now they might check it. Yeah, it's a good yeah. a good smoke to get out of there because after the shotgun in that like, position, it's an easy check. Yep. If he had stayed there, that he would have definitely been more down. Good for him. Smart call for him to make it out of there. You know, your friend, your teammate already pushed up towards market, so they have to check every single corner. They're yep. definitely going to check every single corner as they make their way up towards middle. Here it is. Execution so far. Showstopper being used as well. Oh, Vista will get one. taken out. Yes, yeah, so one for one indeed. Pitch all as well. The timing is just unfortunately so off. Seiju able to take him out. Ren finds a kill on towards Zanji from that B main position. Two versus three shots oh, pushed up already. Yeah, no idea. Oh. oh my goodness, the knife was out. It's a one versus two. Seiju's all alone. Seiju. They know where he is as well. Oh, but look at the spike. The spike's actually making its way towards A. And the rap is just so beautiful by Ren. But he misses. 5 HP left on towards Seiju. Can he make this work? Oh, the Seekers! The Seekers! Oh, man. Information given. 5 HP. But oh! what in the world? Seiju How? gets the headshot to save oh, that was, Golden. That was a couple of whiff shots, though, from, uh, from Kai there. That was, should have been an easy win for him. Everything was lined up in his favor, but the whiffs... Oh, and now it's win. four to one. A gust of wind would have taken Zeju out. Oh wow, five HP. All he had to do was get that hit shot. What a play. It looked so impossible to lose there for Akai, especially with the Seekers coming out, but if you're not gonna hit your yeah, shots, not, you know. And now losing that is gonna cost them so much more than they they can imagine the money is in shambles right now. It's The lead is getting bigger and bigger. I mean, of course, we know they can do wonders on the attacking side, but that's you need a couple of rounds to get something rolling. Definitely. Viper Spit invested from the Holden side towards middle. And it looks like uh, the homeboys just do not want anything to deal with it. Fishball, a very over-aggressive... Overzealous, eager peak is just too much. Oh, and Flashes another player is stuck in. in the corner here. Oh, Shaz finds his first kill. One more towards Elbow Sanji. They know for a fact that Plant is coming down, but it's a three versus two. This man, it's Toggle and Kaitu. Kaitu is able to take the player towards Elbow. That's going to be a great start. What do they have here? What can they work with? No nades. They've got the show stopper here, so they could easily, you know, come out of heaven flying in. But oh, this Kaitu can Kaitu catch this play off? One enemy remaining. Oh, she. This is turned around too fast. It's a 2v1 now. Zeju in a similar position he was in the last round here. But yeah. this time, no dice. 4 to 2. Toggle will secure the round for his team. Close, but no cigar. I mean, that was a, a big, big kill for Kaitu. Not only did he take out Zanji, who was playing elbow. But he also made his way towards a ramp, taking down Fister, who just does not check. Just not check the corner properly, so well played. Two versus three converted. But still, two rounds down here, homeboys. They've got the Viper's Pit to work with. Definitely make things work. A bit of a half buy coming in. Shots, you can see the, most of these players with the Sheriff towards middle. They want to go for these fights. But they're just not going to be given anything at all. The heal does come out. But will these sheriffs prevail? That is the question. Flash comes out. Information given. Fishball with the sheriff. Not going to be hitting the shots. Toggle's good for a three. He'll get traded out. But just massacre towards the middle. It's all shots, man. What can you do at this point? You can't heal yourself. Nice. You've got the sheriff. Yeah, he's so low in HP here. He's going to have to run away. Try to get some kind of exit frag here. They're rushing in towards him. 
Oh, it's one! Oh my! Ooh. Got a little bit, uh, got a little bit worrying there when both, yeah. when everyone ran out of bullets at the same time. I was a little bit too close for comfort there. I mean, like, imagine you could pull out a classic after you drop your Diga. I don't know. I could have gone anyone's way. Nonetheless, four yeah, to three. True. Buys are all up. Rifles are all up. So far, homeboy is kind of... They've been taking it super slow. As per usual, they, that's that's what they usually do. You know, they, they take control of A-Main, try to pull the rotations. This time around, Toggle with the Showstopper just going ham. He'll get hit with a trap, but he will still survive. Seiju finding Pichal. And Kai will get the trade on towards Seiju falling back. So far, so good. Four versus four. Oh, Spike will go down. Viper Spit also going to be invested. Toggle's got to be careful. He's going to be running out of bullets fairly soon. And oh, Fisty oh. from heaven gets the perfect timing to peek towards Toggle. Showstopper, Showstopper comes in, but so did the Paranoia at the same time. Doesn't connect with anything. Oh, oh man. hello. What is going on? How are you? He said hello to his neighbor. Kai just had no idea. He was flying towards sight. Oh, and everyone was so confused as to what exactly just happened, but what's important is that Halden got the round and it's 5-3. to three. Um, uh, This would be another buy round, I believe, from both sides. So, ooh, and a time out from the homeboys here. I mean, they've been doing... I mean, they've brought it back. It was much worse before this, but they've certainly brought it back here, but they don't want it to slip out again. So they need to make really important decisions now because losing this round would mean that they will be forced onto an eco or a force visor. They need to win this round to keep it competitive here. So what is the strategy going into this? Um, they were looking so good, you know. Like they were able to string in a couple of rounds, but so far holding their defense, it's just been a little bit too strong. The way they retake together as a team, the way they use their utilities and catch these catch homeboys off guard, it's a little bit too strong to deal with. But they can find maybe or or get a lurk you know get someone to lurk towards middle towards the, the opposite side it may very well be the difference maker we saw kai lurking uh on bind against rdt and he was doing such a good job but he this time around he's on that on that sky so he's got to stick around with his team so i think ren has got to be moving around a little bit more trying to find some space pitch all as well on the sentinel yeah, I mean, definitely, they have, they've got quite a few options to go off here, you know. Uh, I feel like, um, uh, in terms of Holden, they are playing good, but their hold, their initial hold doesn't seem too well. Their, their retakes are decent, but their holds seem to be a bit lackluster for me. Yeah, it definitely has been, hasn't been the strongest, you know, there's always one player being traded out. Yep. Even if they do try to go for these... They can just all f five of them just go for a, a very 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 passive retake situation but they just keep wanting to fight they want to go for him they want to go more this time around they set up a trap towards a main one towards b main as well so it kind of keeps homeboys guessing where this viper is where this cypher is actually playing there's a trap on a and a trap on towards that b site i've got your trail Seekers popped. It's a good time to use it. Doggo is going to be rushing in close with it. Pain shells dropped as well. But the paranoia will slow them down for a bit. Seizure gets for call here. 5v4 advantage to Holden right now. But the attack is going in towards B side. Zanji, the only player here. Me, I think he is spotted here. He's going to drop the smoke. He's got some what TPs. He doesn't need them though. Oh because he'll get the kills. God. Beautiful 2k from Zanji there. Can he get a third here? Can't get the third. Ren will finally take him down, but it's a 4v2. Work is done. Time is low. They need to get the spike down, but Fishball's already here to clean up the rest. 6-3. Very similar. Very similar start to how it was on Ascent. Back and forth. Holden was kind of looking like they were going to win it out. And so far, Holden, six rounds. They 
any more rounds they receive is definitely going to help them win out the half. And just look at homeboys. They really don't have much in the tank anymore. They, a single Vandal, a couple of sheriffs here and there. So far, they just have not found much of an answer here towards the defense of Holden. What can you do with this Ooh, one? It's a force by him. Yeah, it's the hero I'm band. I'm surprised they weren't actually for a force by here, but called with the Vandal. If, if Pichal dies, they pick up his Vandal, use it for the next person. But, you know, Zanji is shooting through these smokes. It's definitely going to be an issue. There's a little gap in the bottom left corner of that smoke to help him look for a leg. So if the, a leg crosses by, he's just going to spam through. And that's how he's getting these kills every time. Just so good. So these Omen text is just amazing. Very, very slow play. That's the worst thing. They lose their... They're duelists, you know, the person who's going to pop off here for them to create space. Good damage done towards Seiju. Paranoia pull forces Pechal off that angle and they're still trying to play. They're planning to rotate. Yeah, they do. They make their way in towards the vents. Fishball just so aware, not even rotating. If anything happens, he's got the help of his traps. Seconds left. And all he's got to do is play retake. Execute now on the way. He's already... Oh, no. He's made his way in towards Elbow. Yeah. Will he be able to use these these traps for his advantage? Was that a running headshot from Kai? It was. Just disgusting place. Exactly Jeez. Ten seconds left. Wait a minute. Kai 2 gets another one. Is this a thrifty right now? A 4v2 here. Ooh. Zanji will finally get one in return. 3v2 now. The spike is down. Shah is coming in. From CT, there's a player close here, but Ren, if he gets too impatient, he might give away his hand. Oh, he does not get shards, but does get shards down to half HP. Oh, Damn. now Zanji knows the location for both players, but the 2v1 is going to be a tough, tough one. Time is ticking low and low. He gets tagged to make a bad situation even worse now. This might be a thrifty here. Yes, it's going to be... I mean, they had four sheriffs and one vandal, and they're just the most ridiculous shots. You know, running headshots and just out of nowhere shots, they pull that round back and it's six to four. Yeah, that even not the early kill, it would be uh, on towards Toggle. So ridiculous. You know, just in the frame to roll back towards that eight that find the kill on towards football, you know. It's not on the hunt down that the cipher on towards the A side. They're back four. All across the board here. Everybody on the homeboy side. Quiet. Oh, I was from heaven trying to, to break the until deep in the middle. That job finds it. Ooh, <clears throat> Fist of spots out the play mid. Oh, caught out blind though. Needs to be careful. Oh, and he gets clear. Toggle, take him out. And Ren, he's holding. He oh, Ren is so smart. He knew the push was going to come from their players and he was just holding for it. Spike planted. Now it's a 4v1 situation here. It's all but done here, Key. He's gonna get this kill, bro. Oh, wait a minute! How did he get that shot? A flick shot! Shaz gets two, and now a 2v1. I shouldn't have counted him out just yet. What an insane shot that was. He would need the ace clutch to win this here. Time sticking low. He gets the fourth. This could be the highlight of the tournament right here. He's gonna tap it. Oh, but I do. He wasn't aware. He was getting ready for the heaven peak potentially, but. Didn't work out six to five as we head into the final round of the first half here. It could be a repeat seven five, or I I think what's more likely is uh, Homeboy is gonna get that sixth round and even it out before we start the second half because Homeboys they are suddenly just you know they're feeling it right now. Definitely, even look at the economy. Not the full plan at all. But the momentum side of but these rounds they've been winning it's been super close 1v2s 1v1s 
you know, surely eventually it was going to affect the economy of homeboys, but the last half, there. it does not matter anymore. Zenji, beautiful, perfect nade to force him out of that oh, position. Yes. Seiju pushing up, taking down Pichal. Utility usage being used so well towards heaven. They want to take over this position, but Zanji's got that oh. judge. Oh my lord. Zanji's down low, but the damage is done. Ren will get one in return now. A 4v3. They have the spike. And there's... Oh, the Viper Spit is popped in B, but it's... It's um, yeah, it's just going to help them to get across. It's not really going to help them towards sight. They've got the cloud in sight, but... I wouldn't be so confident to, to plant in the cloud there. We'll see how it goes. Looks like maybe a rotation off. Maybe back towards A. Towards mid here. This is interesting. 40 seconds left on the clock. Zanji playing close with that shotgun. He was low already. Now he's even lower. Is he going to spot the player first? Mister, he spots out the two players now. Satchel's oh. out of there. The flash comes in though. Oh, Kaito gets it now. 3v3. 20 seconds left. There's a player coming in through heaven. That's Shaz. We saw what he did in that last round. Can he do it again here? Oh, it's going to be an A hit. Oh, but the flank for coming in from the, uh, the side of Holden could stop this if the timing's right. Timing's not right. Try two. Oh, oh my no. goodness. Wait. Oh, no. Is he, is he sticking? Oh, okay, no. Oh, he had to get... stick there, but there it is. Seven to five. A repeat of map number one's uh, half. Seven to five. Is this going to be exactly like how Ascent went? Oh, man. Not so sure, but... I would not be surprised, man, you know. You're playing sports, esports, there's a lot of superstition involved, and a lot of people believe yeah. that 9-3 curse. You know, this time 7-5, it's happened once, it can definitely happen again. Uh, so that's something Holden have to be careful about. Like you said, last, last, uh, last series, or last map, sorry, they've got to win out the pistol. Holden to, to kind of force and solidify their positioning here to boost a little bit of momentum for them to win out this map. You know, if they want to go all the way to map three. But homeboys, we saw the way they started playing. This time around, they're going to be on the defensive side, and their defense was phenomenal. Something yeah, the else. defense definitely was really good. And... Um... They are going for an aggressive push towards the A main here. No one's there to greet them though. Everyone is headed towards mid and B right now. The Fister has gone to check <coughs> ropes. No one's there yet. Mail is being cleared now slowly. The rotations are coming in from the A side to the B side now. But still, there's a lot of players, attacking players from Heaven and B main here. Will they be overwhelmed? Ren is just playing off... Um, the cipher trip here. Yeah, he's got a bit of assistance with the Kai flash, but Kai's already turned around, changed his position. There we go. Smoke's gonna be coming out. One towards spawn, one towards B main rotation's gonna be coming in, but still no sign of movement. They've got to be so nervous at this point. Ren, he should be able to hear the shots, and there it is. Full on oh, execution towards this B site. Ren gonna be able to find the first shot. Fishball and Zeju opening up that B site. Well, Zen, sorry, Ren holds things up here towards heaven. Trade does come in, and Zanji, look at him go so aware, so, so good with that classic. So much damage done. Two versus three. Toggle's so, so low right now. Speck of dust would kill him. He needs to be really careful. It's all on to the omen here. He needs to do it on Kaito. He gets the first. Ooh, good damage. He needs the second here. Time is ticking down lower and lower. Player close, wow. not aware of it. Fishball will take them both out. Three kills for Fishball and eight to five. They got the pistol round. They got the round that they really, really needed. And now we head into the second round here of the second half with a much more comfortable Holden. Can they keep this going? Look at this. They they bring up a Vandal for or four Spectres here. They're just really expecting to mow things down. But this Fishwall, you know, Fishwall, you give him whatever weapon, he can definitely make things work. 
decent effort though coming in from the side of homeboys with that retake. They're still down, but they're not out just yet. Petrol just baiting, making noise. Trying to pull some rotations, trying to make make things a little bit annoying here for the side of Holden, but they just don't give a damn. They are going in. Beautiful flash oh. coming in. And look at the flash. damage. That flash and Again, the kills, the nades. They're just sapping them here towards main, but it's just not working out because the Vandal is out. The Vandal is back. Here to hold things out to help. But look at this. Wait Two bullets left. A ghost so in his hands. One versus one. How, how is he's it playing towards one? elbow. Does he hit the shots in? Yes, he does. Oh my goodness! In for fishball. Oh my god. An ace clutch for fishball there, but how did it get so close again? We see this happen time and time again to hold it in that second round. They win that first by homeboys. They come so close to dismantling them in the second. I mean, Fishmore was down to 8 HP using his goals. How does that happen when you're going up against a couple of classics and sheriffs? I mean, we saw how Kai and Toggle used their utility. The sky flash, the, the paint shells from Toggle even took one down. And as soon as one of them is fighting towards main, there's always Ren. Ren came out towards heaven and was able to find one more as well. So they're always backing each other up. This time around, Full on mid control, full on mid take. Pichal finds a beautiful shot there on towards Seiju. Tons of damage being done, but they're not going to be able to get the trade off as he just flees away. Look at this play. Kaitu going to be able to help things out. Gets the trade back, but Sanji back to back to back to back trades. Fishball finds another, and it's all down to a one versus three. Pichal, the man on that B site, not going to be able to find that last frag, and Fister is just ready for him. 10 to 5, double digits for Halden here. Three more rounds to force that map number three. And that was the bonus round here uh, that Halden just won. Homeboys had clearly the better weaponry, but just were completely outclassed in that last round. A very, very well played there by Halden. Getting that first kill uh, onto the mid player and then slowly dissecting them one by one towards male, towards B heaven towards A heaven, you know, just completely saturating the defense of homeboys. Once again, they're looking to get aggressive here, looking to take this mid control, slowly work on towards it. And this is what, how, how Holden was able to win it up against next guy. They, they dissected their mid, you know, like you said, they took very, very close control in mid. They waited for next guy to go for the peak and maybe they are waiting for homeboys to try to get aggressive to go for this peak. And they are just ready. Utility going to be used here. But look at Toggle. Oh. Just doing so well. Every time his paint shells do so much damage. Uh, it's, just, it's the timing of the paint shells. You know, comboed with the uh, snake bite. And, you know, the boom bot as well mm. sometimes. It, it, it's just a bunch of utility combined together. That makes, uh, you know, your opposition's life so, so difficult to get away from it. To get oh, it done. Oh, oh my goodness. And Ren takes down Fishball as well on the flank. Yeah, Goggles holding Heaven Angle. He spots out two players, gonna back off for now. Let them get into the B side. There is a player towards B main, oh and that's Kaito, and he will get one. 5v2 with only sheriffs in hand. Dude, Kaito is just always good for these shots. He's, he's someone you can always count on with the sheriff, with these, with these weapons. What can you do? Ooh. Sanji, he's got a bit of assistance. The smoke will come out, but the numbers advantage, they just don't have it. Sanji finds one, they, they do have the Vandal in the hands of Seiju. Can he make this work? He's been so good, no. but Kai will get the shot here on towards him from the Rafters position. 10 to six, they're down, but not out just yet. Ooh, how 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 now. do they when they have vandals five vandals they get absolutely destroyed, but when they've got five sher sheriffs they absolutely destroy. Yeah, you yes. know, I, I, at this point just play the game with just sheriffs. sheriffs. You don't have to buy vandals anymore. Sheriffs only is the way, that's for sure. I mean, you just see their utility towards middle. You know, it's just so well played. They find the timing to take Fishball out, who was lurking towards A main as well. I mean, not even A main towards Elbow on that A site. They were able to win out the fight and they recover the weapons, go for the retakes perfectly in sync, you know, not trying to force any issue, not overheating. And Kaitu, of course, again, hits a beautiful shot there on towards Sanji. Wow.
instantly with the man advantage early in the round here now 5v4 Oh, oh Boggle is one. Okay. Boggle as well. Oh, Showstopper comes oh, out. That's beautiful. My. He gets two. Here we go. Toggle doing toggle things. Just walking up middle all of a sudden and finding so much space, so much impact in towards this round. He's he's done it for Ascent. He's done it again now on towards Split. Fishball, oh, though, Fishball you cannot count this man also. out. This man is known to clutch. He received an ace already in towards this game, but look at how smart homeboys are. All four players towards middle. They smoke off towards vents, and they just don't really ex they don't really want to give him the 1v1s. Yeah, they're seconds. just holding the spike. Oh, this. wait a minute. Hold on. Wait it's Fishball. You don't mess with Fishball. Oh, he's going oh, for the... Oh, my goodness. You went for the poppin' peak there. Oh, my God. And it, I mean, if he hit that first shot. Yeah, um, yeah, no, I mean, but seriously, Fishball and, like, Toggle, they're just doing, you know, they're just doing a bunch of madness at this point. Uh, I, I, I'm, when I see a 1v5, if it's Fishball or Toggle, I don't want to say anything. I just yeah. want to watch. Yeah, we can't. We just cannot. I mean, just look at this, man. The mechanical skills takes three towards main, just really trying to do whatever he can. See, if he hit that first shot on towards Kai, man, that would have been... Yeah, no, that, that would have been game over. With a 1v1, and well, things would have been a lot worse. Three rounds down, but not out just yet, homeboys. Good use of utility to clear out the trap. Oh, very dangerous. Oh, he doesn't clear it out no. in time, and Petshaw gets the kill on towards him. Oh, man. Uh, information gained as well now. That's one of the traps where you just cannot clear out without any sort of utility. Oh, this could be a good bait here for uh, T right now if Ren just steps away because they saw them towards the left. But looks like they're going to be backing oh, off mid toggle. for now. There's Toggle. Look at this. Look at this madman. Oh, what? Oh, the timing. timing. Oh, Toggle. Oh, yeah. The spike is down too. That man has oh, the spike. Geez. Disgusting plays. Oh, man. They're going to be rotating towards middle. Spots a lot of these players in towards market. And they put up the Viper's Orb to stop them from coming in for this rotation. The spike is down in towards sewers, ladies and gents. Toggle three does players it watching again. Mid right now, plus the upper. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I mean, if anyone tries to swing out the smoke, you know, there's three players ready watching the cross. You just can't do much. There's no... There's yeah, no way there's for no the time. Play. Yeah. It's like 10 seconds. But no, I have to say, I can't believe Toggle went for the knife. Not because, you know, it's disrespectful or whatever. It's the fact that he had an op. Exactly. Imagine if, um, you know, he, <laughs> he turned around. Okay. Uh, Did you guess too? But. Uh, there you go. Uh, uh, there's still not enough. So, uh, imagine if he turned around. You're not gonna, you know. If it's a vandal, sure. But the op and you go for the knife in that. You're down by three and you go for it. Oh yeah, and goodness. the timing as well. Like, you don't know when he's going to come out of that smoke and check his corners, you know? Like, check yeah. if anyone's trying to go for that flank. Because he was aware. The timing was just... It was just... Did not go for Zanji's way. He, he just uh, half a second. If he kept looking towards yeah. sewers, he would have caught him out. But man, oh man. Yeah, he's going to get oh. something here for two, I think. Yep, oh, there it is. wow. It's what one instantly out. The side of uh, uh, Halden, they do have a bunch oh of goodness. ultimates online here. Like the Neural Theft and the Viper Spit they could use. Oh, so Fishball. Oh, no. Kai. Ki. Devil. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Kai is somehow still alive. Toggle coming in from the oh. back to help him out. Sanji oh all alone now. A 1v5. They know his position. And he'll be taken out. Things are falling apart for the side of Holden. Since 10-5, they haven't won a single round. And now we're one round away from evening out the scoreline. And this is going to be an equal round. Or, you know, a force potentially maybe from the side of Holden. Wow. It really looked like... It really looked like Holden was going to run away with this one. But Toggle said no.
Yeah, no, Tog happening. Toggle and Ren have just been insane so far. Oh, he's going for another early one, but I don't think anyone's going to greet him this time around. Oh, and he gets aggressive. I love this from him. Right. Ren finds one, and they're just going for this full-on execution. Great use of utility by Ren, playing inside of his own oh, core, but oh, Fishball fish ball is just so aware. He can't do that to Fishball. Good shots. They have the information that Viper is mid, and there we go. Three versus three. Retake now on the way. They don't have Paranoia. They do have a Paranoia for Zanji, so that's definitely going to be something. That's definitely going to help them uh, to delay the, the retake here. But for the side of defenders, a single cage on Pichal. I don't think they have the Paranoia on on Kaitu. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, they do they not. Don't, they don't. Got to play together. They got to play smart. Swings out. Fister on towards side. Toggle finds oh, one with the one. Sheriff somehow. And they're just slowly oh, picking things up goodness. one by one. Paranoia comes in. He's given away his position. Does he get the shots off? Oh. No, he doesn't. Kaitu will shut things down. And that's 10 to 10. Homeboys bring it back. Double digits. The score is all equaled up. Kaitu seriously saved that round. round right there. Getting those three kills where you were so, so important to that round. To get them to even now 10 to 10 we're all fair game as we move in to round number 21. Dude, Please, what, mean... what happened to, to Holden? I mean, they were doing so, so well. Is it something that, uh, you know, homeboys are doing right or is something Holden are doing wrong? I think homeboys, they just decided to... I think they decided decided to be more... more, uh, more confident, just... Toggle, you can see he said, okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm just going to try. I'm going to give it my my all. Yeah, yeah. And he's just been finding the most ridiculous timings. This time around, homeboy's down one man. It's a five versus four. They've got the Vipers pit in towards B main here. Ren trying to hold things off by himself. He's got a little bit of assistance. But so far for now, Holden is trying to find a hole. They're trying to find a gap in the defense here of the homeboys. He gets one, it's a 4v4, but he is taken down extremely low, and he's the one person on the team who can't heal. Spot our player, Flash comes in. What? what? Wait, Shots hold gets on a one, second. gets one in return. Okay. Could have been... We'll be confused as to what just happened. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we saw the Showstopper coming out, we saw the TP towards Rafters all of a sudden, like... Now... Oh, Ren. Oh, oh they're, they're not going to expect this from Ren here because he he checked and he cancelled it. No one's here. No one's flanking. Stopper is so popped here for Toggle. Trying to find something. He, they do spot out the player towards Hell. They will get the trade off. One versus oh. two. And that's 11 to 10. Zanji and Fist are able to find the frag. Close Just before it gets a bit too far out of hand here, Holden pull yeah. one back, 11 to 10 now. But, uh, you know, you gotta say, that round, I feel, was extremely unconvincing from the side of Holden. It wasn't like the rounds that they were winning before this, where I could believe, like, yeah, that was a good play by them. That round seemed, you know, other than the first initial kill, everything seemed a bit, you know, lucky to a sense, in a certain degree as well. I mean... As long as they get the point, you know, as long as they get the round, yeah. that's all yeah, they yeah, care yeah. for, because all they need is another two more. Toggle once again trying to get aggressive. The dog comes out, and oh. he's in a bit of a tough spot here. No one to assist him at all. Satchel's away he and makes it out. out alive. He gets out. How? This is highway robbery right now. That is just butt-clenching yeah. action right there. You know, he, he, I, never in my days will I survive a round like that. Yeah, well, if I... Absolutely not. None of us would. It's just Toggle. Toggle doing Toggle things. Oh, he's going for he's going for one here. He doesn't have the satchels anymore now, so if he's caught in the open, that's it. He gets the first. They swing! Oh! One for one. Damage done. Oh, look at how aggressive. Oh, 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 oh Ren is there to help him out. He's got the support now. Yeah, There's another so player good. close towards Pillar here. 
the support line is just too strong here. They don't expect... I don't know if they expect one more player to be playing towards heaven. Oh, there it Fish is. Fishball does find it. Gets one, oh. gets two. But not going to be able to close things out. Tall what? With a shorty from downtown. Closes things Wait, down. no, no. He was, he was at Pillar and he got the shorty kill from to heaven. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I mean, that is just... That is just... Uh, the game works differently for Toggle than it does for normal people. Yep. That is just crazy. Imagine he hits that no scope. Toggle right now is just simply... You know, he, he's like a... He's just causing miracles, making miracles happen right now. For the side of the homeboys. 11 to 11. I can't imagine the money being very good for the side of Holden in this round here. Yeah, we, I can hear a bulldog. And a sheriff as well, so... They need a lot here to try to secure that 12th round. So difficult. This is anybody's game. Both these two teams deserve to be here. Toggle has been spotted out. They know for a fact he's often towards middle and instantly they don't want to fight anymore. They just fall back, walk towards sewers, group up towards A. Oh, look at this positioning by Zeju. In towards B main. Oh, just did oh, not yeah, expect it. the push And now oh. information received. They know that they're hitting A here. It's going to be a fast hit in. The flash comes in. Oh, wait, did he not hear Cypher? I don't think... Oh, oh the whiffs! Oh, the whiffs! Kaitu. Oh, the savior. Oh, Kaitu is here, win. though. He does not Sanji win. Gets... Toggle doesn't either. 12-11. My word, match point now for the homeboys. I can't wow. believe we have come all the way here. It was, you know, it started off a bit rough for Halden. Then it went to 10-5. They were doing so well. And now they are on the verge of losing it all. They need to win this round to force the overtime just for a chance, you know, to go, not even to win the game, but just to go to a map three. Wow. I mean, just look at how many kills Fishball has. 29 kills, trying to keep his team alive. It has just, it just has oh. not been working. Oh, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. 5v4 oh. early on. A uh, bit of a bad flash, but it's all right. We move, we move. Toggle doing toggle things. Somehow finding a gap in the smoke oh, towards the bottom. he's the barrel here. Oh, he doesn't even have to rent that to clean up. 5v3, this could be it, ladies and gentlemen. We could be looking at the champions here, unless the last three remaining players and Fishball, oh, Fishball. Yeah, can do something about it. Fishball is alive, and they do have the Viper's Pit available here for Zeju. They did do a lot of damage done towards Ren. Homeboys now just... They cannot overpeak. They cannot get too aggressive. They've got to stick together. They've got to execute. But Toggle oh. spots out Ooh, Fishball. Shot there from Toggle. Great paranoia, he has to fall back instantly. And well, remember, Viper Spit available, but oh, Toggle, of such course, hits that shot. Oh my goodness. Oh, this that is it. Maybe all this she is wrote. It. That is GG, well played. And homeboys are your 2024 champions here for the Malacca Esports Championship. What in the world was that comeback? Shin. I mean, I'm. Dude. <sighs> Well, I, I'm, I'm genuinely at a loss for words, but what a game. I mean, both maps did not disappoint. This is by far the best uh, the best game of the tournament, easily. Wow. I mean... Yeah, I mean... Uh, but first of all, a huge, huge congratulations to Homeboys for winning the uh, the Mlaka Esports Championship 2024 wow. uh, Valorant Division. Um, and a huge, huge shout out to Halden. You guys played absolutely phenomenal. I mean, you you ha you guys had us at the edge of our seats the entire time. You know, this battle between Fishball and uh, between uh, Toggle was one that we, we never knew who would come out on top. And even in that last round, I wasn't sure who was going to win when Fishball started popping off. But yeah. there you have it. Homeboy is just, I mean, especially Toggle. I have to say Toggle has to be the MVP in that last map. He just did so, so much, and with the support of Ren as well, they, 
I mean, what a comeback it was. 10 to 5, it was phase 10 to 5, and he brought it back 13 to 11. I think Just was, an amazing game. What, 11 to 7 at one point? You know, the 11 to 6 or something? I don't know, man. It was just incredible stuff. It's, you don't see this sort of performances from Toggle, you know, that often. You know, he's he's known to frag, but this level of this level of confidence, uh, the level of team play here from Homeboy, you know, especially since Toggle has the help from Ren, you can always see yep. Ren is always there to help, thing, help him out, right? And it is just yep, so absolutely. good. So so well played. Yeah, no, um, they, they just their synergy was just on point here. I mean, look at this. Every time I see a highlight with Toggle with an op, you can always see he has someone that he has Ren, he has Kaito, someone to back him up to clean up after him, and th that's why it was so effective, uh, and, and that's why they they got the win. But again, you know, they came back from it ten to five. It was such a such a. I mean, they lost pistol. They even lost their bonus round. Not to mention, yeah, but exactly. even after all of that, they come back and they win it all. And um, they will be walking away with 1,500 ringgit of the prize pool, the top prize, the grand champions. A big congratulations once again to home boys. What, what, what a tournament it was, I have to say. Yeah, what a game all the way. Two zeros all the way from the top 32 team, you know, facing up in round one. Bexia le Legendary 2-0. Kuzu Esports. Actually, no, they went up against... Uh, oh, Red Sea Esports 2-0. Then against Pixel 2-0. Against Kuzu Esports 2-0. All the way through to the Grand Finals, even winning that out 2-0. You know, these guys, they're a reason why they got... These these five got picked up by the homeboys, and they are exactly... They're showing exactly why here on this server today. Such a fantastic, fantastic Valorant fearless valorant being played and honestly like i need that confidence that toggle has just to be able yeah, to I think go we, crazy like i think that. we all would love if toggle would share some of that uh not just the confidence but the aim as well mm -hmm. uh with us but yeah no it, they, they just they played phenomenally throughout the entire tournament and uh which reminds me i like to also mention to you know all the players i mean all the teams and all the players to halden next guy red dragon terminator everyone who participated in this tournament we would like to thank you so much for participating we hope you enjoyed your time uh, I, I know most of you didn't get the results that you were hoping for but mm -hmm. that's why we're gonna have more tournaments in the future and you know but then hopefully you guys will join that too and you know it was an honor and a pleasure for both Hayes and myself uh, to cast for you guys and we look forward to doing it again in the future uh, but yeah I'm just so happy right now that I I got to watch just some amazing Valorant yeah, definitely just insane stuff guys what a game i mean it was unfortunately a two you know it was not a crazy all out three map best you know finals but it was that finals where one team was down and they were able to climb back up you know they lost seven yep. five on ascent seven five as well on split and they were able to come back and dig themselves out of that hole and well, win out both it, maps, so just wow. It, it was just like a roller coaster ride, right? you know, ups and downs, ups and downs, and you know, I, I started off, I started off the tournament saying, you know, I really wanted to see a three maps, you know, but at the end of the day, I really enjoyed how it finished because, uh, you know, and even at the last moment, you never, you could never know who was going to win that round. Was it going to go to OT or not? And uh, yeah, that was just a very, very exciting moment. I absolutely yeah. loved it. Yeah. Uh, and with that being said, we have to thank a few other people other than just the players and the fans for watching. I'd also like to thank Blaka Esports Association for hosting this tournament and KBS for collaborating with them for it. And of course, Raka and Muda for helping out. And to the venue provider, uh, Ancient Galaxy Esports Hub, thank you so much for allowing us to have our tournament at your beautiful location. Uh, it has been a pleasure for FaZe and me to cast for this entire event. And we look forward to seeing you guys at the next event. But until then, I've been Shin and FaZe, and we'll see you guys at the next one.